need you close Yeah Wish we could stay here forever Each day you keep getting better Gotta love you close And I need you close I need you close Yeah Na 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 Every day Look away Na 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 Every day Look away We could be good friends We could be good friends Hello, everybody. We are going to get started in a second, but give me a two really quick if you can hear me. I am so glad to have you in here with me tonight. We are going to have a really good conversation and it's going to be really like calm and easy going. Um, moderators, let me know if whether or not we're in the building tonight. I want us to have a very, very calm and a peaceful conversation. I have a whole lot of information that I want to share with you guys. And as you are coming in, I need you to do me a favor and let me know if whether or not you, let me know how long you've been subscribed to my channel. Like, are you brand new? Are you not even subscribed yet? And you're still thinking about it? Are you an OG? Have you been here for a minute? Like, what's going on? I just want to know who I'm talking to, just to know how to get started. Like, if this is a night full of OGs, then we'll, you know, I won't start from scratch. Like, I'll, I'll pick up where we left off. But if the majority of the people that are here are new, then, you know. Let's talk everybody can hear me. I subscribed about six months ago. You're new, you're new, you're new. Oh, so many new people. Oh, you OG, you've been here from the beginning. Triple OG, triple OG. <laughs> oh, I've been here for a minute. You have been, you've been here for a minute, two years. I love you guys. Oh, since I was selling products, I love, oh, how I love my OGs. Years. I love you guys. Oh, three years. I'm new, but I've seen a bunch of your okay. Okay. Okay, so it sounds like we have a mix, right? So hopefully everybody is okay with me catching everybody up. So tonight, tonight we are going to Moderators are here, but they're driving so dry. Don't you have to moderate to you again? But tonight, I want us to first, I want to familiarize you guys with myself a little bit. And then we are going to hop into the most frequently asked question. And that most frequently asked question is what hairstyles should you guys do instead of teen natural styles? Instead of washing goes and twist outs what should you do so that is what we are going to get to today but first i want us to just go ahead and hop right into these slides because i really 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 want you guys to get to know me a little bit more because um as i go back in these videos right i'm going to talk to you as i'm going to share the screen with you but um as you're as you guys are new here right to my channel you don't know this but i've been a licensed cosmetologist for well over a decade right like well 
over a decade. And originally when I started doing hair, right? Originally when I started doing hair, it was 100% just because I was so in love with the art form. Like, and it's always been like that. My dad bought me a Barbie and I cried because I didn't know that the hair wouldn't grow back. It was like that. So this is what we're gonna get into today, all right? By the end of this video, you guys will have all of the answers that you need. I'm gonna take myself off the screen for a minute just so you guys can focus on the things that are on the screen, all right? So you are in the right place if you're ready to hear new information that you have never heard before. And if you are ready to link science to common sense, I don't do hacks, okay? The person that you're talking to right now has been a licensed cosmetologist since before I was able to buy liquor. So I I don't deal in hacks and things like that. So you just won't find that here. I'm not speaking against it. It's just not in me. That's not who I am, you know? And next, you're also in the right place if you are ready to be honest with yourself because accountability is the only way you're going to be able to make real changes. But listen, you in the wrong place if you are looking for a hair product to fix your hair issues because I won't be sharing any like special product with anybody or if you are ready to debate. I think that social media and YouTube in general has become a place where people think that so everything is up for debate and truly everything isn't up for debate like me i couldn't go in and debate a brain surgeon about anything i would look crazy everything isn't up for debate all right so if you're ready to debate and go back and forth this isn't going to be the place for you 100 percent. or if you are looking for some hacks to avoid facts i don't have any hacks all i have is science that's all i've known and that's all i've studied all right and lastly, if you guys are by a little self-love, because I may do a little self-promo at the end. So trigger warning, I am not here to upset anyone. I am very passionate about this. I've been doing it my entire life. And right now, my intention here today is to break down some barriers for you. I'm not here to call you stupid, even if I say something that you disagree with or if I say that something that you do every day is the worst thing that you can do to your hair. Remember, I can't see you. You can see me. I don't know you personally. All right. Just take note of it. Research it on your own. And if you don't align with it, keep it moving along. You, you hear me play? All right. So if you stay to the end, you will have enough information to break down your old foundation so you can build new ones so don't worry about that you will ex receive exclusive bonuses and a whole lot of other tools to get through your stuff so know that today i'm sharing a little bit and a piece to the basics of what it takes in my program so let me know in the chat type yes into the chat if any of these responses sound like you and if you ever felt this way at any time right what are your roadblocks are you consistently hitting a growth wall because i've been there have you been in a place where no matter what you do your hair grows real good and then it gets at one length and it's stuck there no matter what you do you're just stuck at this growth wall or are you having problems where you're having a great hair growth journey and then you have a great big setback bald and thinning and you have no idea where it's coming from or are you having excessive shedding or thinning this is what we are here to address today. And I'm also going to give you other hairstyles that you can do that do not include wash and goes and twist outs as if that's all black women have ever done is wash and goes and twist outs, all right? So if you don't know me, I am a cosmetologist, gone scientist. And here, I am just here to share the things that I've learned through my experience in the industry with you so you don't have to make the mistakes, right? Because this is the thing, I'm also a consultant. So when you go bald, you can book with me and I can help you grow it back. But I'm trying to help you from going bald in the first place, ship a foot, okay? So at any point in this webinar, if you are 
part you don't want instagram screenshot your favorite part the part that make you like girl yes and tag me on instagram all right so let me start by telling you a story about myself now the first time i ever ran into any problem in my scalp where i had my first outbreak with hydronitis superativa in my scalp I ran directly to the beauty supply store like everybody else does. As a woman, the last thing you want is to be a bald head skittle diddle with no hair in the middle or a little bald head humpy dumb with no hair in the front. That ain't what you want. So, of course, I'm a hair stylist. So, I'm like, the worst thing I could be is bald head, right? If I'm a hair stylist, but hydronitis superativa is something that I was born with. It'll be um, links to it in the description box below when we finish. I really don't want to get into it tonight. I've had it my whole life. But it, it is an auto-inflammatory disorder where my, my body attacks itself, okay? So, anywho, uh, when that happens, my body gets certain boils and lesions, right? And I'll show those to you guys in a second, but some of them pop up in my scalp. So, of course, I went down to the beauty supply store and I said okay there has to be something in this aisle that can help me right but what I ended up finding out that all that I really was doing was feeding the bacteria even more right and it wasn't long until I started getting excessive thinning and balding I started getting burning and then after that I would later on and get scabs in the areas that it was burning and then I would get lines of demarcation where it's like oh my god like no matter what I do I'm having these problems like what am I doing wrong not to mention I have two children and I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I don't have time to do my hair. I'm doing everybody else's hair all day. So I'm definitely not eating right. I'm getting fast food on my way home. So I had to put all of these pieces together. And I had to later on learn that my problem was internal. I had to clean my body from the inside out. My body was literally attacking itself. So with me, I have an overproduction of estrogen. So any artificial hormones that I'm eating, anything bad that I'm eating, any processed food, it would kill me right so this is when i had to learn all of my triggers do a full body detox and i had to clean my scalp give me a three if you know that your skin is looked at as one of the or yeah the biggest organ on your body because it covers your whole body not to mention your skin's main purpose is to release things Somebody put that in the comments for me. The, your skin's main purpose is to release things. So if your skin's main purpose is to release things, this is not a rhetorical question. If your skin's main purpose is to release things, do you think it would be good to put things that block the follicles and the cuticles of your skin? Would that make sense? Hmm. Just a really good question. Let's keep going. My goal for you today is for you to control your hair growth go and do spot repair because listen mistakes are gonna happen you may have a lazy day or a lazy week and you mess up your hair a little bit but you can fix it but not if you don't know the science of hair so why is the cuticle of the hair staff so important let's break down the cuticle to different portions the porosity the role of shampoo and conditioners in your hair and sebum okay so let's try something really quick real quick well, hopefully everybody has a notebook pull out your notebook and let's answer some questions really quick number one how often do you shampoo your hair when do you deep condition your hair when do you trim when with the end missing the end ran away do you exfoliate and what oils do you put on your scalp? Okay. I need you to answer all of those questions. Now, let's get into it. Are you ready to break down old foundations? Because we cannot put new wine in old bottles. If you are sensitive, it is time for you to go and get. So I have a question for you real quick. I, it's not a rhetorical question. What makes hair curly? What makes hair curly? It is the size of the follicle and the formation of the disulfide bond. So with knowing that, is curly hair weaker? Yes or no? This is not a rhetorical question. I want you guys to answer this for me. Is curly hair weaker? Yes or no? 
Yes, thank you guys. Everybody is with me. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get to um, videos like that in a minute, babe. And I have a trim video already. Okay, so it is not that your hair is weaker. Let's put, let me put it like this, because from this point, we are going to hop into our questions and then we'll come back here, all right? So this is where things get tricky. The way my dad talk, like would always talk to me, he would always like talk in metaphors. So like, I just can't help it. So like, that's how I learn. So that's how I talk, right? So let's talk about it like this. You have two people, right? One person lives in a one bedroom house. And in that one bedroom house, all they have is a toaster, you know, just, just the basic items. Everything that's in their house, right, person A, everything that is in person A's house, if you add it up, it may come out to be like $1,200, right? But then you have person B over person B's house. If you add up everything that is in their head, I mean, in their house, it will come, and mind you, it's the same apartment. Right, it's not in the ghetto. A person A and person B live in the same apartment complex, like luxury apartment. So they both luxury apartments, right? Now, if the if the person in apartment B, if their apartment has a million dollars worth of stuff in it, which one is more fragile, house A or house B? Which house has more to lose? It's not that one apartment is weaker than the other one. They both one bedrooms. Everything in them are identical. Both the, the 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 bones of each apartment is exactly the same. But one has millions of dollars worth of things in their apartment, and the other one got twelve hundred dollars worth of things in their apartment. So the way that the hair shaft works is the the follicle is made up of different software to software linkages. So there are different things that go into making your hair curly. Your hair is not just curly because of the size of the follicle. The more software to software linkages you have in your hair, the curlier your hair is, right? So for that reason, if you have more to lose, then it's not that your hair is weaker, it's just more prone to breakage. So you have to do your hair practices a little different than everybody else, right? Now, I'm a black woman, right? I'm not missing with nothing. Black, black, black on black. Okay, Ohio and Memphis, Tennessee made me. So as it pertains to the 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 texture and the preparation of your hair we don't have to separate it so much when it comes to our race and all of those different things so right now what i'm going to do is hop into the questions as you guys see a question that you also have this is the rule okay, come on gp are you with me so what I need you to do, if you relate in any way, shape, or form, I need you to put a one in the comment. Or give me an emoji in the comment if you relate here at any point. But today, I want everybody to lose their offense. Okay? I am not going to mince my words. If you ask me a question, I am going to answer it. And I love y'all so much, but I need you to understand that I am not a YouTuber. I have been, I only look at hair from a scientific perspective. So please understand that. And please know that everything I'm saying is out of love. So this is the very first comment. Now, let me say that I meant what I said the other day when I said that we are not doing any negative comments. None of these comments today are negative. None of them. But you guys have all been asking the same questions. So I want to just make sure that 
I just go ahead and do this one video so that way you know down the line when you guys have this question again it's just like boom shakala boom go over there hold on y'all I gotta find this I'm staying on my phone hold on y'all because I can't see what that is on the screen I feel like a senior citizen y'all hold on players I know I should be prepared. It's just, as I'm looking for this, it's just a lot sometimes because people give me their life story and I, okay, I got it. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> I've had it for six years, I believe. I'm 21, by the way. I thought I may have had it and my dermatologist said, that it looked fine so okay real quick when they say had it uh this person is commenting on a video about ccca okay so when they say i had it they're talking about a scalp disorder called ccca okay so i've had it for six years i believe i'm 21 by the way i thought i may have it i thought i may have had it and my dermatologist said looked fine so i trusted her i have two small patches with a thinning crown and the the patches only ever start to inflame when my hair is too dry listen y'all please listen please please listen i haven't used heat regularly for about four to five years so 100 percent heat is not the problem i only use heat heavily heavily in 10th grade then stopped shortly after. Most of my life has been one of natural hair care. So pause really quick. Remember how I told you guys, and I wasn't I wasn't trying to be rude or disrespectful, but remember when I told you guys that if you were under the age of 30, literally all you know is team natural. You know nothing else. This is what I mean. Let's keep going. These days, my hair is only ever manipulated every two weeks. And I put in large plants after washing. And I mix castor oil and essential oils in my hair products with coconut oil and olive oil for shine. I'm going to say it again. Every two weeks to put it in large plaques after washing. And I mix castor oil and essential oils in my hair products with coconut oil and olive oil for shine. Only today have, only today have I really considered this may be what I have. At first I thought it was eczema. So my original goal was to stop from spreading to other parts of my body, um, to my head. Since I had eczema already, the, ups, uh, the upside is again, I can minimize the spreading through moisturizing, you guys. Also, my crown has been showing progress of not itching or burning nearly as much before since I have calmed down on the heat. <laughs> and went for low maintenance hair care. I will be going to get more of a serious checkup soon. Okay? So, this is a problem that so many people have. And this is an argument that so many people like to have across social media. I know a lot of you have already seen this, so I'm going to move through this video really fast, but I want to show you the way that the human scalp looks. And I want you to understand that the only thing that you do when you oil the scalp is feed the bacteria that lives there. The, your, the, the bacteria that lives on your scalp's favorite food is oil. So the more you oil your scalp, the more you are clogging your hair's follicle. So what you're looking at right now is the hair's follicle, right? And that is the sebaceous gland, the gland that produces oil within your scalp. So I want to go to another part of this and I want to show you what you are doing when you grease your scalp. Because at the end of the day, anything that you do to your hair needs to be for a purpose. 
So what you are looking at right now is somebody taking out a sebum plug. A sebum plug is when the natural sebum that is produced in your follicle gets clogged and it gets hard and blocked up. So when you are greasing and oiling your scalp, it's going directly into the follicle and it's filling it up and it is causing a bacteria infection. That is the same exact thing that happens to your face. What would happen if you take a bunch of oil and just put it on your skin? You would get a pimple, right? So that's the sebaceous gland that you're looking at. The sebaceous gland produces sebum. Sebum is the natural oil that is produced within your body, right? But if you're constantly greasing the scalp, if you're putting oils and butters on the scalp, all you're doing is feeding the bacteria that lives there, then it's growing, and then it's going to become inflamed. And and then after a while, it will be so much bacteria within the follicle that the follicle will detach itself from the blood supply and you'll go bald. But the burning, the itching, the tingling in your scalp is directly related to all 350,000 oils that you are mixing together and putting in your scalp. The only thing that belongs on your scalp is shampoo. When you oil, when you put oil on your scalp, look at the follicle, it's going directly into the follicle, right? So if you're oiling the scalp, the next thing you need to ask yourself is what is the oil supposed to do? What, what is the point, right? What is the point? You have the hair follicle, the hair sham, and the sebaceous gland in there. The sebaceous gland is already producing oil. And you see those little blue things that are popping up? Some people that just read articles, they'll say, oh, the hair shaft is dead. That's not true. The cuticle layer is dead and little pieces of dead cuticle cells are falling off at all times and they're trying to come up and out of the hair follicle. But if you're putting coconut oil in your hair, coconut oil is protein seeking. So YouTubers went on and said, oh, use coconut oil in your hair because it'll lock on to moisture. Absolutely right. You know why? Because it's protein seeking and your hair is made of a protein called keratin. So the coconut oil goes in, binds to the protein that is your hair and then keeps your hair in a constant level, basically, of, of being a, 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 a portal for bacteria. So then as it goes on, the bacteria just keeps growing and growing and growing. You don't have to take my word for it, you guys. Google it right now. Google it right now. What is the bacteria that lives on your scalp's favorite food? They're going to tell you oil. So when you oil your scalp, yeah, you are absolutely right. You are feeding your scalp, baby, but you're not feeding the blood supply. You're feeding the bacteria that lives there, the bacteria that's supposed to get out but can't because you have it trapped there with grease and oil. The only thing that belongs on the scalp is shampoo. This is the sebaceous gland. This is the gland that lives under your skin producing sebum. The sebum comes up through the sebaceous gland and it coats the hair shaft. Your hair shaft is full of sebum and covered in sebum before it even pokes out of the hair is follicle but you see that yellow stuff that is the bacteria that lives on everybody's scalp and it is like colonizing bacteria so you know when you said that it started as one spot and it's spreading that is because you are feeding this colonizing bacteria every single day you're giving it its favorite food i have a dog his name is flash all right flashy pants and i feed flash every day a couple times a day, right? And he's eating snacks all day. And the more I feed him, the stronger he gets. So if you have a live living organism on the scalp and you're feeding his favorite food, why are you not thinking that it's going to repopulate? Now, every 28 days, the skin cells on your scalp are supposed to die and fall off, making their way up for new cells. And then when those new skin cells come up, they have new hair on them. But if your scalp is constantly full of oil, if you're if you're boiling your scalp every single day and just covering a follicle with oil and not washing it off because you guys don't use regular shampoo, you only use co-washing shampoos and conditioner. So what does your hair do? What does it do? What does the body do? Because the, the, the body wants to release natural sebum and sebum is not an oil. It is a waxy substance. And this wax is not going to mix with all of your hair products. It's just not going to happen, guys. So this is why you really, really need to get a regimen. 
I'm answering this question first because so many of us have these practices and so many of us have these same follicle and scalp disorders because something happened. And now this is not a rhetorical question. I need some of you to answer this for me. Something happened where people were just like, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just not going to do my hair. Like I'm lazy. And I remember seeing this video and it was like lazy girl lazy natural and i remember like oh i can't stand this hopefully this won't take off and then it went viral and all you see is lazy natural videos right and everybody's favorite lazy natural style is a wash and go and a twist out and most people say that they don't know what to do right I've been natural for a little over a year and struggling. So don't make fun of me for these questions. But y'all talking about y'all talking about stretch and straight hairstyles. Can I get some examples? Because I only know of silk press. And you would and would you recommend styles for low porosity hair? So my question to you guys is what happened? It's like what happened to where Black women say the only thing out of all of these, out of all of the hundreds of years that black women, like our ancestors, because we, we say, oh, our ancestors didn't have blow dryers. And, but what about our ancestors right after them? What about your grandma and your great grandma? And what about the ones that first did have the blow dryers? What about the Madam C.J. Walkers? Like, what about them? The question that I have for y'all before we move on, and this is not a rhetorical question. Why, what is it about your hair? And what is it about your curly hair that is making you hold on to it so much and is making you so angry? Because we can't wear it as a badge of honor because we're the only ones with it because the majority of people on this planet have curly hair but we're the only ones that don't keep it stretched. And I'm not saying that we should. I really want to know. Like, you need, and I think everybody should ask themselves this question as well. Like, why? What is the main reason? And a lot of people aren't going to want to hear this, but one of the main concerns that I get from people is it just takes too long. People say like, oh, I'm just, I'm not doing all that. Like I'm not, I refuse to do all of that. I'm not spending all of that time doing a, tw um, doing a roller set and all of that. But this is the thing, twist outs and wash and goes are two things. You can do a flexi ride set. Mind you, a flexi, flexi rides have so many different sizes on purpose. Flexi rides and perm rides are literally form formatted to match a natural curl pattern. For example, a perm rod is not just called a perm rod because it's a perm rod. When I was in cosmetology school on Wednesdays was senior day. And on senior day, I swear to God, it was full of old white women that wanted perms. And they would get the itty bitty, itty bitty perm rods because after I take the perm rods out, like, you know how we get relaxers to go straight. They get perms to go curly. So when I take the perm rods out, her hair looks curly like mine. She loved it. And I've never heard any woman of they rank talk proud to each other. You're not proud to be what? Like, it, I've never heard it. They would be so happy. They would oh, that's so cute, girl. I've never heard it. Why are we like that? Why? That's a question that we all need to ask ourselves. And the next thing that we have to do is be accountable because, hear me, You most people would say, the, the, the options that I'm about to give you right now, most people would say, oh, well, I don't, nobody has time for that. Like, I don't want to do all of that. Don't get mad at me. That is laziness. It's laziness. When I did hair, I would have women, I would have women come. I had so many different women come with weaves in their head that had been in there for six months that I had to make a policy that said, I, I won't take out a weave if it's been in there for under six months, right? I mean, any under three months, right? 
But then after that, I just had to say, period, like if I didn't put it in, I'm not taking it down, period. Like I'm just not doing it because people would come in and be like, oh, it's only been in three months. And then I would get in there and I would smell death at a funeral. And then, oh, well, I don't have this to do. I don't have this to do. I know y'all not going to want to hear this. It is, when I say it's laziness, it's laziness. And other people don't think y'all sound crazy. I'm not comparing, but y'all know I always say, do not watch my videos if you sensitive. I have friends who, like, I was spending night at their house, right? Ashley. She, I was like, girl. And when I was spending night at her house, I would be chilling in the bed. She would be in the room shampooing and blow drying her hair every day. And her hair was like to her butt. It would sometimes I would be like, oh my God, hurry up. And I would go in there and help her. She did that every single day. She had to do it every day before school. And then her hair was her hair was like long and thick, but she was a black girl. And like when her hair got super oily, super fast. So she, I, no, not every day, every other day. So she would shampoo her and then round brush it and then flat iron it. And then she would, um, the next day she would use dry shampoo, but she still had to round brush it in the morning. And I'm going to show you guys some more videos of some of my other clients that are not black. So I'm not being disrespectful, but when you say, when you say that, it's too much for you to for you to spend two hours, two, three hours on your hair one day doing a roller set one day every two weeks or one day out of the week when the majority of women who have hair to their butts are spending like their round brushing every single day is laziness, y'all. And the reason that I've 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 taken so long to make a video about hair uh, styles and what to do with things of that nature is because Team Natural has been around for 12 years, over 12 years. So even though the things that I'm gonna say right now are like basic knowledge to me, it's gonna be foreign to you. It's gonna sound like I'm making things up. But to get everybody in this situation that they in right now, they had to, for, for, for one person to win, you have to make the, your opponent look like it's something wrong with them. So for the longest, everybody's been like turned against hairstylists and turned against cosmetologists. And even though there are a lot of dusty stylists out there, there are a lot of good ones. And I do it for you. That's it. I am new to your channel. I have been to cosmetology school and I know that the things that you are saying are correct. The problem is that there are people here on YouTube who are giving hair care advice who are not licensed and or have never been to cosmetology school and do not understand the science. <laughs> you are also a trichologist and your wisdom is needed more than ever. It is so refreshing to have a hair professional who's interested in the health of hair. It's not just me, y'all. I finished school in April. I love you for this. Thank you for being so thorough and giving us, listen, the precursor of the industry. It has been very helpful and you have a new subscriber. This is why I do what I do. I understand the industry is dusty, but we have to understand where the industry has gotten to and why it's gotten to this place. And as we move along, I need y'all to understand that the things that y'all have been doing have been the things that have gotten you in these situations. So as I move along, I'm, I'm not going to be mixing team natural stuff with the things that I'm telling that you do now, like, no. So if you are a person who cannot let go of wash and goes, if you cannot let go of just plaits and stuff, then I'm not going to be able to help. And I'm not being rude or disrespectful. I'm, I'm, I'm literally saying to you, not humbly, I don't like that word. I'm, I'm literally being honest with you and saying that I literally do not know what to tell you. I don't do 
the playing in here thing, okay? So again, I just discovered your channel and I've been a natural for 12 years. All I know is the techniques that you're saying are wrong or bad. So my question is, what is a better way of caring for curls without doing hours of work on my head? I want to be able to sleep comfortably without things on my head. I like how my curls look naturally and I don't have time to manipulate it with perm rods and things. And natural homemade products, aloe vera, eggs, bananas, etc. better than chemicals on curly hair, y'all. We have to get out of this twilight zone. Like, we have to get out of the twilight zone. That is what I'm talking about. I'm not being rude, but if you are a person who does not want to take the time, I cannot help you. So much is given, much is required. The more cute, the more softer the softer linkages you have in your hair, the curlier your hair is. So because you have more stuff in your house, you got to lock it up. You got to do more work. You have way more to lose in your house. So the patterns that you follow and the routines that you follow cannot be hacked. And that's the problem. Nobody's been focused on the science of hair. Everybody's been hacking things. I've been growing hair out from a big chop for the last six months. I wear wash and goes all the time. I've been scared of the heat since going natural. So I will only send my straight in my hair two times a year to trim. So I will mainly only use the blow dryer and trim a little. I will trim each curl wet in between major trims. Whew, I was missing a lot of the damage. I actually pressed my hair out today and it was bad. Crunchy ends and tons of single strand knots. And the hair was breaking off at the knot. But I didn't know because my hair looked great in the wash and go style. Chop all the bad stuff off and I'm going to incorporate some of the things that I'm learning from you. Been a curly natural for 10 years. So I have to relearn how to deal with my hair in straight styles. This is the thing. We black people got free from y'all not gonna like this part. Because it's deeper, it's deeper than hair. It's deeper than hair, right? So I remember when I was in like middle school. Light skin, dark skin was a big deal, right? So light skin, dark skin still do that. But now we don't just have light skin, dark skin. Now y'all have added something else. Now we got light skin and dark versus dark skin. And we have team natural versus relaxed. Like no matter how many chains you get set free from, it's like you crave the chains as if you're addicted to the bondage. Why do you need to label yourself? Why can't you just learn your body, look at your everyday patterns and your everyday routine, see what works best for you day to day, and then do the style that works best for your body based on that? Why do we have to why do we have to do that? It makes no sense. So my question, and I'm I'm not being rude, I'm asking. I really, it's not a rhetorical question. I'm not asking any rhetorical questions today. Why, why is it like that? Why is that a thing? Why is that something that, that we can't get past? Why is there always a new level of bondage? And you, it's like, you can't thrive without it. Hold on, hold on, sugar. Hold on, sexy, next sexy. My bad. And like, see, before I get into stuff, I just want to make sure that I'm talking to the right people because I don't sit in a room with a bunch of hypocrites because we're not going to in one breath 
get cry about somebody not liking the way that our hair looks in its natural state when we go to work. But then in the next breath, if I get on here and I'm giving you some knowledge and my hair got to my butt, I can, my words are valid. It's hypocritical. It's hypocritical. And a house that's divided amongst itself will never stand. Why do y'all constantly, why do y'all constantly have to put yourselves in boxes? Why do we always need a title? Like it is so ignorant. Do y'all understand black women are the only women walking the face of this earth that announce themselves like, oh, hey, I'm Cynthia, I'm natural. You ain't never heard no Mexican woman, no Hispanic woman say, hi, I'm a natural Hispanic. It's like, what, what, what is wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? that's that's the part that's the part that everybody needs to get to and that's why i had to step back for a minute and just figure out what angle i'm gonna come at it because it's not real if it was real everybody would be able to stick to it there are certain people that are here on social media that have never changed they're the same person today that they was when you first came on but there are other people that are completely different people So I need y'all to know that you are your own worst enemy. You are. And the way that the way that I get down, my my patterns are going to be different. They are going to be those of a professional cosmetologist. I don't do hacks and tricks and trades. I don't do opinions. Now, if you differ, if you have a thought that differs from me, make sure you got facts and let's go back and forth because you could possibly change my mind. The world and the earth is ever evolving and ever changing, but so far with this, it ain't changed yet. So until it does, let's keep it simple because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So let's talk about something. For one, for one, the very first thing, and I'm going to get to y'all questions in 2.5 seconds, I promise. The very first thing that I want y'all to get into and the very first thing that I really want y'all to realize is, and I'm not like trying to be a conspiracy theorist, but it is what it is. <laughs> if you want to sell something, right? <laughs> if you want to sell something, you have to create a marketing campaign, right? You got to, you have to, do something and, and say something and, and create something that everybody's going to be talking about something that is going to spark emotion right the, the one of the first things that you learn in marketing is like you got to make them feel something right you got to make them feel something and if you can make people feel something with your products and your marketing employees then you got them forever and the Team Natural community has been the best marketing ploy that I've ever seen in my life because not only, not only did they get you on your money, they got you fighting to stay in the chains, right? So I tell people all the time, for one, most of the time when people um, see my videos and they see me straightening hair, they're like, oh, you only wanna wear your hair straight and you're not proud to be black. Well, okay, I'm not gonna say that, that was, hmm. So <laughs> as it pertains to the way that I do my client's hair, when I was standing behind the chair, it is more so as it pertains to patterns and routines. Because across social media, one of the things that people do all the time, like you would do, you would say, okay, I'm going to have a set of hairstyles for the year, for the whole year. For the whole entire year, I'm going to do this one hairstyle. And it didn't, it won't even be for the whole year. Sorry. It won't even be for the whole year. You'll do it for like two, three years. The only thing people ever see you in is crochet braids. And then one day, you take the crochet braids out. And then you see that your hair is long, but really thin. Or... You do wash and goes all the time and your hair is really long, but then you go to straighten it out and it looks like this. 
This is because I know that you guys want to wear your hair in this naturally curly state. And there's nothing wrong with that. But to do it every day is crazy. And then on top of that, let's say the when, when anytime I ask someone why that's the way they want to wear their hair, they say it is because they like the way that the curls look, right? So I have a question for you and I need everybody to answer it. So I'm going to give people a chance to get ready to type because it's not a rhetorical question. I need everybody to answer this question. And remember, I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. I'm not coming for not listening. It is it's not a big deal. If you're not on board, then you don't got to be here. It is okay. Okay. It is okay. What I want to know is other than, other than the way that your curls look, other than the way that your curls look, what do you like or what, what is so good about wearing your hair in a wash and go and wearing your hair curly? Other than you not feeling like doing, actually styling your hair and the way that it looks. What do what is what is so much better about wearing wash and goes and twist outs and combing your hair with conditioner? Like like I'm not. It's not a rhetorical question. I really want the answer. While I'm waiting for your answer, I'm going to go to this next one. And this one kind of, this one is one that kind of not, not bothered me, but I just wish that there was something more that I could do. Hold on. Here we go. Hold on, I got to take the banner off. Okay. You said, my sister and all of her children is so-called Team Natural. She is all for co-washing, heatless styling, and does not believe in trims. She naturally has beautiful, beautiful curly hair, but the breakage is heart-wrenching. When I try to talk to her about it, she gets so defensive. It's the most frustrating thing to explain why you need to wash your hair or why you need to trim your stray hairs and split ends. The wildest thing is she will turn around and complain about thinning and other related hair concerns. I'm so happy that you're talking about this topic. It is so informative. I need to share your videos with her. Now my response to her was, girl, don't be bringing your sister over here if she gonna be on that bull because I don't have time to be trying to talk nobody out of it. But my thing is, if you if you are in a place where you can see that you're not getting anything good out of wearing your hair a certain way but length my my question is why like why are you doing it nothing because once it dries and shrink it be looking like Florida <laughs> Okay. That's silly. Your race didn't change because your hair changes. <laughs> I'm delayed from my wash time. I've been delivered. I'm so grateful. I'm 56 and I've been wearing twists for years. And, and that's the thing. Like, I'm not. I just feel like I just feel like you guys put yourself in hair prison. Like you, when when you have curly hair, you do have more options. The things that, like for example, we are all alike, but we're all different, right? So I got a little good up, and then my sister from another race got a, got one up. So. 
I can wear a hairstyle for a week or two, depending on how I style it. But my sister right here, she can't wear a style for two weeks. She if she wears style for two weeks, little bugs gonna start life gonna start growing over there. And I'm like just keeping it real. But then on the flip side, I have to do a little bit more to make sure the sebum can flow down my hair when all she got to do is do a blow dryer and she good. Like, and then not that that's not what I have to do, but my blowout take a little bit more time, a little bit more of a technique. And I don't mean an extra hour. I mean, like a little bit more technique. But if it's your head, you got it. But as, as a woman, if your hair is right here and a girl who is blow drying, brown brushing her hair every day, hair is to the middle of her back. You cannot say that you don't have time when other women do it every day. It's crazy. So it's, it's all about us getting some patterns and getting routines. In the seven day challenge, I help you break that down. But I used to tell all of my clients, like, I'm not, we're not just having one style for the whole year. And the clients that I had whose hair wasn't healthy for weeds were the ones who didn't listen to me. Like I lived in Vegas, I, I lived in Vegas, I still live in Vegas, but I was doing hair in Las Vegas. So most of, I had a lot of clients that was dancers and stuff. So they stripping on the pole. They need weaving their head. They can't take time off of not having extensions and their hair paid for that. But they still knew you can't do too much of anything. Exactly. Natural hair is actually your hair, no matter the texture. And it's annoying. It's, it's literally a, they, it's literally separation. Like it, it, it was so disgusting to me. I've never liked the natural hair community because it just, I felt like slavery ended, segregation ended, and then we brought segregation back. It's like we was tired of segregation being there. So we was like, no, bring it back. Give us product and put it in reverse. They can't use these. It's dumb. It's like you shouldn't be using them either. That's why everybody got scalp inflammation now. Because you shouldn't have been using the shit either. They did not have products for Black people. They've always had products for Black people. But it's like, for whatever reason, we want to be like singled out. We want the segregation. We want to be separated. We want them to make a big deal. It's like, it's not a fucking big deal, bro. Like it's not. Kimber, uh, it's a, a comment that I made on one of my videos where I was like, I tell you guys all the time, the reason that y'all silk presses don't last, the reason that everybody's scared of blow dryers, the reason y'all all scared of flat irons is because y'all don't use them right. Y'all think that to blow dry y'all hair, you need a leave-in conditioner and a heat protectant. And then I made a video saying that, and this, I made a video saying this 10 years ago, 10 years ago, like five, six years ago, saying that a leave-in conditioner is your heat protectant for your blowout. And just yesterday I said it, girl, when I tell you my block game, I've been, I've been blocked so many people today. I'm surprised my follower account was going up. I didn't block so many people today. And they had this long thing. You're a liar. You're a liar. He, um, leave-in conditioner is not a heat protectant because I said they trying to play y'all. Like, y'all constantly buying. Y'all go to blow dry y'all hair. And to blow dry y'all hair, y'all use a, a leave-in conditioner, a thermal heat protectant, a cream, a oil, a butter, and then wonder why y'all got heat damage. It's because you just fried your hair like chicken. All you need is this. So for the people who say that a uh, leave-in conditioner is not a uh, heat protectant, key benefit. This is a, a leave-in conditioner I have been using since I got my cosmetology license. I've never switched off. I love this product. And it has been the same since I got my license. I am 33 years old. I got my license when I was 19. And this product has not changed. The smell is this, it is, it has not changed. Key benefits, hydrates and detangles and shines, improves breakage prevention and helps reduce split ends, tames frizz and flyaways. So then when you go on their actual website, what are the key components? What are the key features of this product? Hydrates and detangles and add shine, 
Name's Friends and Flyways provides thermal protection. Provides thermal protection, which is, correct me if I'm wrong, by definition, a heat protected. So you do not need to get 50 million products and stuff like that. That's what breaks your hair off. You can literally just blow dry your hair and just style it. You can blow dry your hair and then put flexi rods in. It's not a big deal. You can wear blowouts. There's so many different options you have. Like right now, my monthly schedule is my monthly. My yearly schedule is going between three hairstyles. This is one of the ones that I have. Only a little bit of my hair out is out. The texture of these extensions are a blowout texture. So all I do is blow out my leave out and that is it. And there's a certain pattern and routine that I'm following. We'll talk about it in a second, but same wash and goes, my lazy style. I just slap gel and a brush through my hair and I'm done. Thank you so much for your accountability because at the end of the day, it is not that wash and goes are just this great style. A wash and go takes away your accountability. A wash and go is something quick and easy that you don't have to put any thought into. All of the responsibility and everything goes to the hair product. Even when you watch videos, nobody talks about technique. Everybody's like, I don't like the way this conditioner feels. Oh, this conditioner is bad. There are full channels just dragging product lines about the way that they help style their hair as if products help y'all style hair, not to mention the people that are making these videos are doing it because they paid by the brand or they're trying to give views. So y'all are all out here product crackheads based on stuff that people was doing for views. And then you argue and you fight to stay in the chain. Maybe there's a better term to use, but I just don't know. We don't have to use nothing. You are so beautiful. Oh my God. We don't have to use anything. Let's just be black women. Let's, can I just, can, or can I just be a woman? Do I have to, do I have to identify it? Like, it's so annoying. Every time you go outside, I identify as a tiger. I identify as a polar bear. Like, what is wrong with you? I am for BW. I identify as a natural 4D BW lollipop biracial gender. Like, oh my God, can we just do our hair? Why do we have to? We're the only ones who do that. My name is my name is Brianna, and I'm natural 4B. Like, oh my God. First of all. Curl typing chart is not real. Andre Walker made it in the early 1990s. He was Oprah Winfrey's hairstylist, and Oprah has been, has been dusty this whole time. We're not even going there. So the whole Tink Natural 4B, 4C, Oprah's hairstylist made that shit up. It's not real. It's not respected by any scientist anywhere. And if a scientist is selling a product with it, they just trying to make money because it's viral. They know. Y'all are going to buy it if it has that work. I don't know. Wash and goes never worked for me. I gave up, so I did twist. It seems simpler than the time, but hair needed product not to feel and look dry after a few weeks. Yeah. And the thing is, twist takes so damn long. Putting twist in your, oh my God, like, Putting twists in your hair take quadruple the time that it'll take. If you just spray some heat protected leave-in conditioner in your hair, which is one, all leave-in conditioners are heat protected. That's what they're for. But Team Natural didn't tell y'all that because they didn't know that. Not to mention they have to sell a whole product line. So if I'm being paid, not to mention, let, let, let's get one thing very clear. Please know that the same brands can reach out to them, reach out to me. Know that. My rate, well, then for brands is going up, is $1,600 for one video. So do you think 
that these people are not gonna make up shit and just keep pumping videos out here if these brands are paying them sixteen hundred dollars for one video you think they're not gonna do that and y'all just keep falling over it every time and then y'all argue and fight and get rude and disrespectful and fight to stay in chains why so the thing that I want y'all to do is really, really get into setting bonds because the issue that everybody is running into is your hair is breaking off because the bonds in your hair are not properly set. You didn't set the bonds in your hair. You haven't given your hair any pattern. All you do is wet your hair, twist it up, and then just walk around the house. And then let's say that's what you want to do. That's fine. As if that's not... Okay, that's what you do. Your hair stays wet, right? Anybody knows if there's what's gonna happen if you have a towel that's damp and you just leave it in a corner, right? You leave a towel in a corner and you keep coming over there spraying it once a day with water and you just keep it there. What's gonna happen? Bacteria and mold is gonna grow on that towel. Why do you think something different is happening on your scalp? The same exact thing is happening. That's why it's this massive influx of follicle and scalp disorders so i'm gonna take a couple of y'all questions y'all um again flexi rides like if you are a person who's like oh i just really like my natural curls okay so go look at some perm rides why is this getting dirty i don't know i'm gonna move it in a minute let's don't put it in what I need you to do is figure out which flexi rod size or which perm rod size matches your curls. Stop, not you. I ain't talking to you, babe. Not you, boo. You cute, too. Y'all all beautiful. Stop being lazy. Pick a day out of the week and make that your hair day. Your hair day. Don't call me. Don't do nothing. Like, make your hair just as important to you as Beyonce tickets were. If you went to see the Beyonce concert. Nothing for me, really. I love my curls, but I did not like that. I feel really get tangled. And this is the thing. I'm not saying, oh, you can't use, you can't never wear your hair curly. Like, what are we talking about? But to to go to the extreme of, oh, I'm never straightening my hair because then you're going to mess it up. It's like, you you not straightening your hair and wash, doing the stuff that y'all been doing this whole time is 10 times worse then the blow dryer and the flat iron, it is literally the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Not to mention the same women who won't put heat in their hair because heat and blow dryers break off your hair will go and spend $600 on hair that was grown by a woman who blow dryers and flat irons her hair all the time. Nothing because my hair is dry. If your hair is dry, your follicle is blocked. Give me a two if y'all want me to go back and show you all where the oil is coming from. If your scalp is dry, your follicle is blocked. There is no reason for your scalp to be dry. And if your scalp is dry and you and you put oil on your scalp and you put butter on your scalp, so you are the reason that your hair is dry. You are the reason that your hair is dry. And it's like, bro, why are we, not you, but like, why are we so stressed about, ooh, shrinkage is real. It's like, bro, okay. Things that are more fibrous like that, that have more of those sulfur, the sulfur linkages, they shrink up more, okay. Nobody cares as much as y'all do. Nobody gives a shit. The people that I'm around most of the time are not my color and they are infatuated. Nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, bro. I did twist off because it made my hair look thicker, but I think it's why single strand knots. So vanity metrics. Every answer is a vanity metric. It's all about the way that it looks, not how it makes your hair feel. I don't do wash and goes. I would shampoo and leaving my hair wet. Letting it dry. I just stumbled across your videos. Okay. I'll explain that in a minute. 
I've saved so much since I've stopped buying so many products because you literally don't like and I tell people all the time, like, for example, when I used to when I used to do hair, right, like the silk press videos that y'all watching, I swear to God, every last person I use the same process. The same process. The only thing that would be different, if that hair was like, if a person's hair is like right here, obviously I'm not gonna spray as much leave-in as a person who hair is today. But other than that, same process. That's why I'm reposting all of my old videos. It's my content, and I deleted them from my channel. I'm reposting all of them because I can show you better than I can tell you. Is the issue the styling or not shampooing or drying the hair? I wear my hair in the afro. I wash my hair once a week. I shampoo and condition. I don't re-wet my hair until it's time to wash it again. How is your hair? Is it healthy? How do it look when you stretch it out? Yeah, all I felt I could do was twist. And it was kind of boring after a while. I used to think twists were all I could do. Why? Like, and this is the thing. How old are you? I'm not being rude. How old are you, babe? This is what I'm talking about. Like, it's it's literally like black women have it's like this this window, like this window, like a certain age group came and it just it just put this divide up between the older black women who had it figured out and like Team Natural and Team Natural took over, made the real way, the right way look like the wrong way, and made the wrong way look like the right way. And now all of the people that talk the wrong way are like, oh, this was wrong. And they gone and they doing commentary videos. And now everybody's like scrambling around. But the thing is, you the, the problem that most people have is everybody wants to stay in the old paradigm, but you cannot put new wine in old bottles. It's not going to work. Because twist outs, and washing goals came from the lazy natural movement. The person who has more in their house to lose cannot be lazy. We cannot complain about our hair being shorter than everybody else's when we do the least amount of work. The least amount of work. I think it's because we like the idea of having wearable hair without intentional styling just to wear it. And my question to y'all is, who on earth does that? There's no race of woman who does that. I had a bunch of, I had, I've been in Vegas since I was 16, back and forth between Vegas and Detroit. But here since I was 16, I didn't have one, one uh, white girl as a friend who could just wet her hair and go outside. My friends would look like they just got electrocuted if they just wet their hair and went outside. Nobody else does that. No one else. Just us. No one else. The knowledge that you are giving us is so phenomenal. It's my pleasure. I just really want us to wake up because it's like every time I say something, it's like we have to go deep into this woe is me, depression, like, and and like, if did you say your dad, your dad's in, do you mean like your dad is here? Like, I know your dad is like, what the hell do we go through all of this for? What do we struggle and make all of these sacrifices for if all y'all going to do is sit on y'all back and complain and whine about shit? It's crazy. It's like, instead of us going forward, we going back in every other form, in every other form of life, we can, we can level up the, for whatever reason. The only thing that we cannot move forward in is our hair. So we okay with using electricity now and not lighting candles, but we got an air dryer. We can't use blow dryers because our ancestors didn't have blow dryers. Our ancestors didn't have lights either. Oh, your hair grows naturally like this out of your scalp. So that's how it's supposed to be. Well, guess what? Your breath stinks naturally in the morning too, but you get up and brush them. 
your boobies do not sit where they sit right now. You put a bra on every day, don't you? You got hair on your lip, don't you? But you you do maintenance on all of those things. Why is why is that any different? Why is that a problem? So those are the things that I I want us to get into. Yeah, you did braid outs because you wanted to keep the roots stretched, but blow drying, like it'll be seconds. And then this is the thing. I know people are anti-blow dryer for whatever reason, like do your thug fizzle. It makes no sense to me because as it pertains to mechanical damage, the longer you're in your hair, the more likely you are to damage it. You get the right blow dryer, you blow dry your hair in 15 minutes. If you're doing a twist out, you're sitting there playing in your hair with oils and butters and all types of shit for two, three, four hours. Versus a 15 is crazy. When you really think about it. It's crazy when you really think about it. I've been trying to focus on natural hair texture lately, lately as a licensed stylist because I thought it makes sense to be able to wear our natural texture since it's how God created us. Okay, sis. So looking at your picture, and I'm not being disrespectful, right? Do you understand as a black woman, you are the only person who says that. So let's get into all of the different things that God created you to look like and to be that you don't do, but that's okay. But you got, but your hair, that's the one thing that God created you to do like that, but you don't change. So you have on makeup in that picture. God did not create you with makeup on. I know for a fact, girl, cause you beautiful. You wax your eyebrows and arch them bad boys, don't you? God ain't make you with wax eyebrows. God made you with centipedes on your face. So keep them eyebrows like God made them. Why are you changing yourself? Do you have a little hair on your chin? Why? I'm sure it, but before that picture, you got that on. And if that's not you and that's your baby, I'm pretty sure that it's, it's still the same example. Like that, what are, what are we talking about? And as a cos like as a cosmetologist, you know that the only difference between the hair that's coming out of your scalp and the hair that's coming out of a white girl's scalp is the size of the follicle and the sulfur to sulfur linkages. And then you went to cosmetology school to learn how to set the bonds and break the bonds properly and put them together without messing it up. And I'm sorry, it irritates me when professionals do it because you went to school. On your state board exam, they asked you, what's like, when is the hair weak? Like, you know, as a licensed cosmetologist, you know that the hair is weak as when wet. As a licensed cosmetologist, on your state board exam, if you would have got the question that I'm about to ask you wrong, you would not have got your license. Curly hair is, you cut hair when it's what? When, when are you supposed to cut hair? When it's stretched or when it's swollen? What was that question? On the state board exam, you the when you pass that state board exam, the answer to that question was you cut hair when it is stretched. You cut curly hair when I mean you cut you only cut hair when it's stretched. And then curlier textures are stretched when they're dry and straightened. And straight hair is stretched when it is wet. So you cut straight hair wet and you cut like what are we talking about? This is, and I'm not being rude. You the one that came in and said stuff. Like, it doesn't make sense, sis. You went to cosmetology school, so it's your job to show people how to how to do their hair in all forms. That's your job. Why would you focus on one thing when as a licensed cosmetologist, you licensed to do everything on somebody's hair from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. A house divided among itself will never stand. And this right here is the reason, I'm sorry, this is the reason why we can't get nowhere. Because how can the cosmetologist that went to school to learn the human body and the hair in all forms say, I'm only going to focus on the hair in this form? No. There's no community because it's every you everywhere you go is something different. Like when you go to the grocery store, no matter what store you go to, uh, a gallon of milk is pretty much the same price. The way that they sell milk is going to be the same. It's the same. But you ain't going to go nowhere and see a whole bunch of different prices and a whole bunch of different cartons. Milk cartons look the same. They in the same area. But in the hair industry, there is no uniformity. There's no uniformity. Everybody leaves cosmetology school and then they just do what they got to do to make money. 
And I'm not being rude, but sis, that's like, come on, bro. And I think that's what's so annoying because if I have more cosmetologists like me who just remembered the science and stuck to it, we would be good. What are we talking about? You didn't learn nothing about natural hair in cosmetology school. In cosmetology school, you learned that there were three textures of hair. Wavy, curly, I mean, straight, wavy, and curly. That's what you learned in cosmetology school. You ain't learned 4C, 4B, nothing. You learned that there are three textures. And you learned that there are three bonds that, sit, that uh, hold the hairs together. The salt bond, the hydrogen bond, and the disulfide bond. You, you learn how to wet set the hair. You learn, you as a professional cosmetologist, you learn that the proper way to set the bond in the hair shaft is to, pro is to shampoo the hair, condition it, and regardless of the hair texture, you get a foam wrap, whatever um, um, utensil that you use, like whether it's a perm rod, a flexi rod, a roller, and depending on how thick their hair is, you take smaller sections, you learn all of this. Why would you get up to school and play along with these little ass girls? You spent two years in school to get out and play with them? That's why everybody's confused. They can't tell the difference between YouTubers and professional cosmetologists because the professional cosmetologists are playing in here too. Come on, bro. It's annoying, man. I don't like that. Okay, so I didn't, y'all, I didn't know how to use tools when I got out of cosmetology school. When I went to cosmetology school either, you know how I learned? I practiced. Hold on. Because we're not dumb. And we walking around acting dumb. We're not dumb, bro. Dumb, like we're not dumb. Remember hidden figures? Wouldn't nobody be going nowhere to space without us? Wouldn't nobody be going to space without us? We are not dumb, bro, but we're acting really dumb. Not get a mannequin. Did you wanna know how I learned how to do hair? Get a mannequin. So right now, decide, okay. I'm gonna blow dry my hair, or I'm a whatever you got, whatever you're gonna do. Do what you wanna do. Whatever you're gonna do. In the meantime, get a mannequin. This one, I'm gonna show her. She looks, she looks, she, I was using her for a tutorial for one of my classes. But her texture gets, it gets really, really coily. It's just, she just being camped out on the back. Let's put her over there. Her name's Shalissa. Okay, so. Shalissa is one that you can get and get a little mannequin stand, get you a paddle brush and some leave-in conditioner and practice on the blow dry hair. I didn't pop out knowing how to blow dry hair. I was in school. So get a blow dryer, get a and get a mannequin and practice on the mannequin. Y'all want to be mannequins so bad. The girls on YouTube are were being paid to do that. That's why they was playing in their hair. They were being paid to do that. It ain't nothing to do. Get your money. Hmm. But but you're not. You're not. If if her hair breaks off, she can just do a video and be like, oh, big chop, start over. You're going to be a bald head skittle to do with no hair in the middle with a humpy duck with no hair in the front or a scallywag with no hair in the back. All gelled up, weaved up because you need it. I understand to be how God made us, but it's like, bro, I don't, listen, you, I don't want to, if that, that is a pet peeve of mine, that gets on my nerves so bad, if you, if you're going to say to me that God made us with curly hair, don't brush your teeth no more, because God made your breath to stink, don't you take that, that sleep out your eyes when you get up, don't take that sleep out your eyes when you get up because God made your eyes to be funky, okay? Don't wash your booty no more. Take that bra off because God ain't make your titties to sit right there. Them boys do not sit, not you. Them boys do not sit right there. So take that bra off and let them titties hang low to the floor because that's where God put them to go, okay? I'm Come on. God didn't make you to wear no sanitary napkin. You're supposed to be just bleeding free. Like, y'all are annoying. 
it's literally this like y'all live y'all life the same way that Christians do. Y'all pick and choose which pieces y'all want to use. The parts that work, y'all like, oh yeah, I'm gonna use that. The parts that I'm like, mm, that's too hard. I don't want that, but that that's good. No, it don't work like that. It's one unit. All things are connected. No. Come on, y'all. That's crazy. Like, God, like how our ancestors didn't have well turn me off. Your ancestors ain't have no we should be what are you what why what are you doing? Turn the lights off, turn the candles off. God made us our hair naturally curly. He made your breath naturally funky too. But you don't walk around with your breath stinking. So why do I gotta walk like what are you talking about? It's so annoying. It's annoying, y'all. Get a grip. Like, black girl, we you need something else. Something else. You and most of the women on the planet, there are different levels of curly. Black women have the curly. It's hair. I bought camera the other day after seeing your video. You're going to love it. I love it. It's right here. My whole career. And I don't, I am not sponsored. I am not sponsored by them. I mean, I get use the Amazon League. I'm, girl, listen. I may make, I may, I don't promote it, but I may get like $20 a month from Amazon. Maybe. That's why I keep applying it because I did this lip peel. Hold up, y'all. I did this lip peel and my lips are peeling. This is a good thing, but it's annoying when you live on the video. Leave-in label literally says protects against heat. Not flat arms, but who would flat arm wear hair? Oh, like, listen, and that's the problem. The, literally everybody's only problem is they don't read the label. But moreover, the reason that y'all don't use the, read the label is because you, you're you hacking anyway. The only reason you know about the product is because a YouTuber told you about it. And in the video where they told you about it, they were using the product in a way that it wasn't meant to be used. So you have no idea how to use it. Why would you read the label? All you're doing is watching the video and just following along with whatever she told you to do. Why would you read the label? You should, but most people don't. Leave-in conditioners are heat protectants against the blow dryer. A thermal heat protectant is for the flat iron. And if you read the bottle, it says that. It says spray on blow dry on freshly blown out hair is what it says. Spray on freshly blown out hair. It's what that goddamn thing says. It's what it says. <laughs> okay, so you guys go ahead and ask your questions. I do have a couple of more uh photos with questions in the book this is more so to ask you questions about um ask questions about your know, hair and stuff and y'all if you are team natural and you like the way that your curls look just find a flexi rod or something that matches your curl pattern just do that hey 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 sugar bears Mm-hmm. Well, to, I won't be live or posting a video tomorrow because tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. So, <laughs> um, she, she's requested to go on a shopping spree. So, feel free to buy tea and donate to my daughter's birthday fund because she's 12 and she wants to go to expensive stores now. So. I'm giving knowledge for free. So I just figured maybe you would want to help me. You know. Yeah. 
But all right, hold on. Let me go here to you because I'm, I'm late. I'm, I'm forever learning, but I don't know all of the unnatural things that we have done to our bodies have complicated our lives with disease illness. So should serum go on only after the silk press? I swear I saw stylist put it on right after she sprayed the leave in. I could have saw something on some. You did. Go watch my videos on silk presses. I'll show it in every time. It's just leave in conditioner, blow dry, keep protected as you flat iron it. And if, if they have freaky hair, you don't just add a product just to add it. I only add a serum if they have frizzy hair. If they don't have frizzy hair, they don't add a serum. And it is literally only a drop. And then I put them under the dryer on cool air for about 15 minutes to permanently set the bar. But practice. Do not ask. Don't. Before you touch your hair, you should not have any questions about nothing. I don't care how many times you have to practice on, on uh, uh, what you call them things. Shalissa on a mannequin do that. Are you still doing a video about alternative hairstyles to silk press? Oh, that's what we were talking about today. Did you just get in there? Okay. Are you still doing a video about alternative hairstyles to silk press? If I do flat twist and sit under a dryer until they dry and unravel, would that be same as the roller set? No, it is not. With the roller set, you are going to take very slender pieces and you're going to smooth them all the way out to match the pattern of straight hair or not necessarily just straight hair. You're going to stretch it all the way out around the roller and then sit it under the dryer. Your hair is no, no, it's not the same thing. I am only giving, as a licensed cosmetologist who never took on team natural practices, I cannot give you guys counsel on twist outs and wash and goes. Like, I don't. The videos that I've been posting have literally said why I can't stand twist outs and wash and goes. It makes my skin crawl. My entire career, I have been fixing. Like I retired because I got tired of fixing stuff like this. She she okay me to share that she wore her hair in twist outs all the time, and that was all she did. And her hair looked long and beautiful and thick and curly. And then she went and got a check, and it looked like this. This was what I spent my career doing. Imagine going to cosmetology school to help women have healthy, thick and long hair and wanting to help them create patterns. And then every client that you come in has hair like this. Every last one. And there's nothing you can do to stop it because it, from the time they walk in, it's not everybody, but from the time they walk in to the time they go back out, they still going to be doing the same team natural stuff. And then you just got to fix it. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, you the fix it girl on social media and everything, you the bad guy. You the one causing the damage. And if you say that you don't like it, it's only because you jealous of YouTubers and you don't want them to get money. I have been dealing with it since 2011. Please stop asking me questions about twist outs. If y'all want to do twist outs and watch and goes, do your thing. I cannot control you. I'm not judging you. Do your thing. I do not I, I, I don't have any consult whatsoever. Y'all have so many options. Like you have roller sets, flexi ride sets. You can do a pin. There are so many different things you can do. Just go on YouTube and go on social media and just search that. But moreover, all the things that you're doing, like you flat twisting your hair is more work than you just blow drying it. It's more work. It's way more work. It's more damage. It's more mechanical damage. All of that. I love y'all, but it's just, come on, y'all. Like, it's like, 
and I think the thing that that is frustrating is because I fell in love with the hair industry because of all of the vast options that they have. And it's like now, and we all have the same internet. We all have the same internet. We can all Google the same stuff. But for whatever reason, we are all like, all black women have ever had is wash and go. What do we do? It's like, oh my God, like what? Where am I? Like, I feel like I am... Like, did I go to sleep and drift off and get in a different body on the wrong clip? What is happening? Why are we acting like twist outs and washing gold? Like, go look at your grandma. Like, some of none of y'all grandmas doing washing golds unless you just got them doing it. Most of y'all grandmas still doing roller sets and 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 um and perm rod sets. If you are in love with the way that your curls look, then just give yourself a roller set or a flexi rod set that matches your curl pattern. Then you won't break the bond in your hair. Your hair will be like, I just, I am so confused. And I'm sorry, like, I'm not being rude, but y'all, like, we will literally get nowhere. I will, we will be in a live for, for freaking three, four hours talking about twist outs and wash and goes. It's like, y'all, it is exhausting, bro. It's literally while I left it, do it, I stopped doing hair because of being stripped of identity. There was like three weeks of day do it. Oh my God. Do y'all know how long? Do y'all know how long? We've been out of slavery. The reason that it's stuck in y'all is because y'all will not let this shit go. Like, my father dropped dead 10 years ago. Nobody gave me anything. I am surrounded by people who look nothing like me. And nobody can stop me. Me being a black woman does not hold me back for anything. If anything, it opens the door faster for me now in my environment. When I walk into a room, hi, how are you? I love your hair. When I go to the dispenser, oh, like it's almost exhausting how much people go over and beyond to make me feel comfortable when I walk into a room. My neighbors right across the balcony. When I walk on my balcony, they be like, <laughs> like the reason that we're in this is because y'all will not let this shit go. Nobody gives a shit about how black women's hair looks, but black women. Nobody gives a shit, bro. Nobody. No, and you know how I know they don't care because they're trying to emulate it. But then you you y'all fight to become the standard of beauty you become the standard of beauty people start copying the standard of beauty because that's what becoming the standard of beauty means and then y'all fucking mad that people are copying the standard of beauty you want change you are so free that you choose change and i am not participating in it with y'all i'm not I'm not being rude to you. I'm just saying, and I know you're not saying that. I know you saying that that's what everybody else, I'm so sick of it. That's how God meant for our hair to be. Y'all are, if y'all think that the creator of this universe is floating around and gives a damn about how you wear your hair, you think God like, God like fixing everything, making sure all of the planets are in alignment, making sure, and then God like, what the fuck? It, I know damn well. I know Cynthia better not pick up no goddamn blood. I know she better not be relaxing it. I made her to be whole and curly. Y'all are, man, you are thinking too much of yourself. If you think that the creator of this universe and all of the other ones gives a damn about it, whether or not you wear your hair curly or straight, you are delusional. I don't care what nobody's talking about. Find your pride in something else. You are delusional. Look. With the wars and stuff that's going on right now, you really think that my creator gives a shit about if whether or not I wear my hair curly or straight. Y'all are all crazy. And y'all all need to go see a therapist if you think that. 
You have some inner stuff that you need to work out. Come on, dog. We we supposed to go further. We supposed to go further. If we thought like y'all thought, we would not have automobiles right now. We would be like, my ancestors don't drive around in no goddamn automobile. My ancestors was in horses. They were they were on horses, and that is how my God wants me to be, because my God made my feet to walk. God did not make my feet to be in no car. God want me to use my legs to walk. You, that's how dumb you sound. And I don't care how you feel. That is how dumb you sound. It is literally the same thing. Go find your pride and your divinity in something else. Take the time that you spend worrying about that and put it into something else. Come on, dog. He only made that up to assist customers to guide them on what products his line would be best. He did not intend for it to be formed. The pay Listen, are you a cosmetologist? You, you somebody, or you just can read. You can read. Thank you for reading, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. I hope that's how you say it, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Ooh, like my eyeballs weak. We just got to be special. Because we were discriminated to shut your face. Women are going overseas and risking their lives to get the body that some of y'all have. Be quiet. Stop it. It is annoying. Oh my God. Y'all want to be slaves so bad. And we growing like me do. <laughs> yep, that's my problem and my hands keep snapping off. Your hands keep snapping off because you keep doing washing goes and wearing your hair wet. Let's think about 30 years ago, old school hairdressers did roller sets or Marcel curling irons and you would visit the hair salon every two weeks. My hair grew in the past. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm saying it's so annoying. It's so stupid. It get on my nerves so bad. Like stupid stuff just make my eyebrows itch because I'm like, what are we talking about? Like, did they put crack in these hair products? I feel like all these hair products that went in y'all brain cells and killed y'all memory receptors because it's like, I remember being a little girl and my mama taking me to the shop. And my mama, like, it was, oh, the smell of the hair salon was beautiful. It smelled like Marcel irons. And because Marcel irons don't smell like burnt hair. You just got to know this. You just got to know to know. And foam. It was like, it was 50-50. Half of the women was getting Marcel irons and half was getting roller sets or, or both. Some was relaxed and some didn't have a relaxer. Nobody was like, I'm natural. Hi, I'm natural. Hi, my name's Cheryl, and I'm natural for B, section W. Oh, my God. I like y'all sound. I did not know Lee being conditioned was he protected. Yes. Everybody read the labels. Read the label if you read the label you'll see it. it's it's on here it's on here it say the same thing that i read same thing that i just read that's what it say on the bottle but you just gotta read it Oh my life. I'm so sick 
the freaking talking about watching girls. I just no, I know how Harriet Tubman feel, and that's why she just left all them niggas there. And that's why Harriet Tubman said, "Y'all niggas, y'all stay fine." And and I'm leaving. I don't. I'm I'm so sick of y'all. Like. Other other than y'all don't feel like it, what's wrong with doing roller sets or flexi rod sets to match your curl pattern instead of walking around with wet hair all day? I'm here for all the new knowledge. Is there a healthy way? To <laughs> Is there a healthy way to have braids and twists without? No. No, I hate it. I'm so crazy. Or is everybody asking me about Twist and Washington? Like, I'm like, where am I? Earth is ghetto and I wanna leave. Use blow dryer first. Just use regular shampoo, bag. And I sell black soap, but I don't want you to put it in your hair. Well, you gotta rewind it, cause I can't, I can't do it no more. I use leave-in and blow dry. I have not seen any heat damage or soft and silky hair. <sighs> How do we blow dry to get? And then real quick, I know it seems like I'm being unreasonable, but put yourself in my shoes. A person who would do 10 people in a day, and that's like a low number. I could do as many as like 12 to 13 in one day. And I'm blow drying, flat ironing, styling, weaving, all types of stuff. So to say to somebody who does 10 to 13 heads a day, five days a week for 15 years that you don't feel like doing your hair once a week and ask me for solutions to make it shorter is crazy. Like, I love y'all, but I'm not. It's like going to, this is, okay. Y'all asking me, questions that y'all asking me is like going into a, a, to see a personal trainer, right? At a gym and saying, I don't want to use none of these machines. I don't want to work out because I don't, I don't like working out and I don't want to eat right, but I need to look just like you. So can you give me some other options to do to come out looking just like you look, but I don't want to ever work out and I don't want to eat right, but I want to look like you. So give me another pattern because I don't want to do the two options that you have. That is what y'all are asking me to do. Okay, so what do you blow dry? What tool do you use to blow dry with? You may have just came in. I need you to get a mannequin. Okay, I need you to get a mannequin. And practice on the mannequin. And don't practice on your hair until you get the mannequins blow out right. It's repetition. Repetition is the thing that you need for the blow dryer. There are no tricks or hacks, right? Every cosmetologist that you see that's good online made more like she had to make 50 million kabillion mistakes before she perfected it. Because it is the more the the more mistakes you make, the more wisdom you gain. And the more wisdom you gain, the more you can start like tweaking stuff. Like because I'm right-handed, you may be left-handed. I like to hold my blow dryer by the nozzle. 
Some people like to hold their blow dryer by the handle. It depends on the patterns that you develop as you create repetition. And I'm not being rude, but that's why I said don't nobody come in here if you're sensitive because social media and Team Natural has made y'all believe that everything is a quick hack. Okay, can you tell me how to do this? And then all I say is this one quick thing that you learn. Hair don't work like that. Like I had to make so many mistakes. Do y'all know how many people hair I messed up when I was in cosmetology school? That's why I tell y'all, if y'all go to cosmetology school to get y'all hair done, y'all crazy as hell. You sign yourself up to be a test dummy. Girl, you know how many people hair I messed up in cosmetology school? You know how many round brushes I got stuck in people's hair in cosmetology school? But you have to, you have to try. You have to get repetition. Social media made y'all think, all y'all do, pick up a brush, it's done. No, practice. Back in the day, mama and grandma would have the hot comb out and burn the ears and everything, put grease on and have your hair showing. Hey. A lady was asking if a serum is okay after a blow dry. I answered that already. I said, I said, yeah, I answered that already, but only a little bit. But then moreover, I said that the only time that you're using a serum is if you need it. If like, What are you using the serum for? And that's what that's the habit that I want y'all to kill because most of y'all just pick up a serum after you blow dry because you just are used to putting things on your scalp and used to putting stuff on your hair. The only reason that I'm gonna use pick up a serum is if I have a client who has frizzy hair and I want to lay the cuticle down. If your hair is not frizzy and you're putting serum on your hair, what are you doing? And then people people constantly lay they they. It's a law, it's a law. layer products on top of that hair shaft and then say oh my hair is dry well guess what your hair does not get moisture from products your hair gets moisture from two places from inside of the body based on the things that you're eating and from the environment that's why your porosity matters and that's why you're supposed to use products that are fit for your porosity and that's why you're not supposed to put that many products on the hair shaft because the more products you put on the hair shaft, the harder it's gonna be for the cuticle to open to receive moisture from the environment. That's why your hair is dry, because you have too many products. But product lines know that, but they also know that the drier your hair is, the more you're gonna buy their products because for a couple of days or maybe even a couple of hours, your hair is gonna feel moisturized. But then once that product goes off and wears off, then all that's left is the polymers, which block the cuticle and keep your hair from receiving moisture from the environment, like the lock method that y'all love to do. Tomorrow is wash day. Yes, get you some oil. I, I think you should have somebody else do it if you can. I mainly roller set once a week in orange and pink rollers and then back to ooh. Yes, I love you. You and your sexy bun. Oh my God. Like, just why is it so complicated? And then when I say, oh, don't do that. No, nobody's been able to give me any answer other than vanity metrics, the way that it looks. And I have a solution for that. You can do a roller set. They have a roller for every curl pattern. Get the rollers that match your curl pattern. And then... Can you rewind it, babe? Can you rewind it? Like y'all go go back in the day and y'all go start talking to y'all grandmas. Roller sets, flexi rod sets, perm rod sets. And the reason that you say it's set is because you're setting the bond. When I blow dry my hair, I'm just setting the bond with a blow dryer. If I do a roller set, I'm setting my hair with rollers. If I do a perm rod set, I'm setting my hair bond with the perm rod. But just set the bond. And twisting your hair is not enough because if it was enough, y'all all would not have damaged hair. But everybody has damaged hair. I don't know anybody who is who does the things that y'all do in the team natural community and then straightens their hair and is healthy. Nobody. And neither do you. <laughs> Wash and goes. I mean, wash and blow dry every week, and I don't use a lot of products. I also don't trim my ends as often as I need to. Yes. 
and my hair grown tremendously. Keep it simple because that's all the girls who have super long hair. That is all they do. Like I've never out of all of the girls that I've ever been around. And when I say like, not just around their parties, like no friends with their moms, like spending a night at their houses. I've never seen them use any products other than shampoo and conditioner and leave in conditioner. And if their hair is frizzy, they'll use like a little drop of like a serum or not even really a serum, like a hairspray because they don't use extra oil. Anymore. in the middle of my back. I think that's good for having You might want to get this salon and see how that hair moves. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Twist styles are one of the few styles I can do that are low manipulation. How would we twist out low manipulation when all you doing is standing there like this, twisting your hair? And each twist. How this is what are you talking about? That's not low manipulation. And then you have to undo it. You gotta untwist every part the next day. And then you gotta style it with a product. And that that is the exact opposite of low manipulation. I don't think that you understand what the term low manipulation means. That is a twist out is one of the most like if you manipulate your hair the most. Y'all just is one of the few styles I can do that are low manipulation. That's crazy. My hair seems to be fine. I'm stretched, I'm not an expert. No, it's not a silly question, it's just. Oh. It should take nobody hours to do their hair. No one, no one. And that's what I'm about to keep posting my older videos because I've had clients with hair. So it should take no one that long to do their hair. If Listen, the longer you're in your hair, the, the higher the chances are that you're breaking it off. The longer you're in your hair, the more likely you are to have breakage. Like it's, hair is not supposed to take a long time. If it was, I wouldn't be able to do 13 people in a day and still get home before seven o'clock. It's like, we, we expect something from nothing. We do the least, but we expect the most. It's, it, it's literally insanity. It's, it, it's like, and I think, I'm, I know it seems like I'm being frustrated because I am because it's so frustrating to just watch, like, it's like, like, okay, so Lovely B, I don't think this is the channel for you. I don't think this is the channel for you. Do you understand that the majority of the women on this planet have curly hair and they blow dry their hair every day. The only way that your curls get damaged from a blow dryer is if you do it wrong. I did, I blow dry hair for over a decade. For 16 years, I blow dried and flat on hair every day and I have never given one person heat damage. The only time heat damage happens is if you do it wrong. If blow drying the hair causes damage, why does half of the population blow dry their hair and have hair to their butt? If blow dryers damage hair, then why do all of the women who blow dry their hair have hair to their butt? It makes no sense. Your logic has holes. It makes no sense. It is women who wear their hair wet, who finger detangle, who do twist outs that have damaged hair, not the ones who blow dry. It's not. 
when I was standing behind the chair, it was my clients who had relaxers that had the healthiest hair and not even relaxers that I did. They would have hair to their ass. Black women were here today, but and I'm posting all of their videos all next week. I just posted one today. It is laziness. The video that I posted today, I will straighten her hair. She will wear it straight for about two weeks, sometimes three weeks, depending on what was going on in her life. And then those next couple of months, she was just doing um um flexi rod sets and roller sets. Or she would blow dry her own hair and she would like braid it down the middle and put a fresh braid here and a fresh braid there. But her hair was stretched, not air dried. Black women are the only women on this planet that want to air dry their hair. It takes longer. My nigga, your hair, your, it takes three, four hours to air dry your hair. And then after your hair dry, then you got to undo the twist. Then you got, you doing your hair all day. A blow dryer take you 15 minutes. And then you going to tell us you gonna tell me that a blow dryer is more damaging, blow drying your hair for 15 minutes is more damaging than you doing your hair for three days? Y'all be drying your hair for three, four days. Y'all are delusional. I'm sorry. It is, it is, it is, it is crazy. And I'm gonna be honest, that's why I stopped making, that's why I took all of the videos down because I was just like, this is, it's, it is, it is crazy. Thank you for asking me a question that I can fucking answer. I'm gonna leave a link in my description box to my Amazon store. I have all of my favorite blow dryers in the Amazon store. See, it's trying to break the cycles or mindsets of our, uh, yes. Like y'all are, yes, y'all are brain, y'all are brainwashed. And it's deeper than here for me. It's deeper than here for me because the brainwash leads and bleeds over to different parts of your life. You don't know how to talk to each other. You're not confident in yourself. It's, and because it is it is directly a reflection of what's going on in your everyday life. I did hair for over a decade. I used to have women come and sit in my chair. And the first time that they washed their hair in six months was when I did it. So I'm not just on here giving opinions. I quit doing hair because I got tired of being a hair janitor. The team natural community turned black women into the laziest women on this planet. And I don't care what anybody thinks. Y'all literally have lazy girl, lazy natural. And nobody can give me an answer outside of it's easy and you like the way that the curls look. For the reason that you rather stick with something that the majority of women have that damage their hair instead of going with the majority of the earth and stretching your hair out, doing it in a way that's safe enough to where your curls will bounce back. It is brainwashed. I'm sorry. I don't care. And the thing is, the way is, is a masterful brainwash. That's how they make money. And their money will forever. Listen, they their hands will forever be in your pocket. Tonight, when I go to sleep, I am going to put a flexi rod in this hair and my hair that's out in the back. My hair is out in the back. You guys will see. I'm not in a press to do a length check and hurry up because I know how long my hair is and you'll see it soon enough. But you don't need products to reset a bond. You don't, you don't need that. And I'm going to show you tomorrow. But the thing is, I'm gonna ask you something. You can't do a wash and go without a bunch of products. You cannot. You can't. The people who do a wash and go are not gonna wash their hair, condition their hair, rinse the conditioner out, just spray a leave in conditioner and go outside. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna layer 50 million products on there to make the curls jump out. Then you going outside. So you're not going to sit here and tell me that, oh, God, I want you. Your hair is not the way God meant for your hair to be when you do a wash and go. So what are you talking about? When you do a wash and go, you got three, you got 50 million products on your hair just to define your curls. You did not pop out with defined curls. God didn't make your hair like that. So what's the difference between you blow drying it and you packing enough products for the world in your head? Cause God didn't make you with products in your hair either. You're defining those curls. They don't look like that until you put products in it. 
So it's the pot calling the kettle black. Because natural hair was the new trend. And listen, and they are making guap. Every woman who, who, who totes team natural got a, 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 a plethora of products. If you cannot do, and I've, I've been saying this since before Team Natural. If you can't do hair without a leave-in, without nothing but a leave-in conditioner, you can't do hair. That's what the old OGs used to teach me. If you can't do hair and style hair without products, you can't do hair. If you a braider that can't braid and make straight parts without edge control, I don't know if you're that great. Let's keep it 100. You can't you can't talk team natural and tell people that they wrong for wearing their hair unnaturally when you can't do if if you can't create that without hair products, don't say nothing to nobody about changing their stuff. Because layering products on top of the hair shaft is more damaging than blow drying it is. That's a fact. I had to schedule a watch and go put some shit up to a silk print this week after viewing the videos for the first time. Plus, I purchased the entire old plus kit. <laughs> yes, but why? what are you protecting your hair from, though? The thing is, when you do a protective style, you need to have a plan. Like, my plan is three weeks. I don't just put it in a while. Oh, I'm about to leave this here for three, four months. The reason that we say three or four months is because when I was standing behind a chair, that's what my clients wanted to hear. They didn't want. Like when, when I say three or four months, I'm like, okay, this is the max that you can leave it in. But I recommend one skin one skin cell turnover cycle. Every 28 days, my skin cells die and fall off, and then new ones come up. So Whatever is in my head is coming out so the new cells can make their way up with new hair. But that's just me. But then when I have a client, if my client had a weave and she did want to keep it in for, for longer, then she would come in and then I would cleanse her scalp and stuff and, you know, just make it so that she will be able to make it through the week. But I've been practicing in my grandma hair. Now she has me blowing her out in of the lady that she pay every two weeks to do it but that's what i'm saying your grandma look her grandma her grandma listen if your grandma is still paying somebody every two weeks to do that that's because that's a habit that she's had her whole life most of our grandmas are still getting blowouts or getting roller sets my husband's auntie is 103 years old and baby trust and believe every three weeks she goes to get a roller set If you do a roller set or if you do a flexi rod set or a perm rod set with the number or a size that matches your curl pattern, you will look exactly the same with no damage. It's what your ancestors have been doing. But y'all just said, oh, fuck grandma, fuck great great grandma. Let's go to before electricity. What were they doing? Lord. You have to take care of what God gave us. Exactly. We be like, God gave me this breath, so I'm going to embrace it. If God meant for my breath to smell good, he wouldn't have, he would have made it smell good. Like, y'all don't say that. So what? Like, hush. Oh, God. This is real life. Like, if... If if the world had the mentality that black women in the team natural community have, or that some of y'all that won't let go of it, y'all won't let it go to the earth. We would still we would not like we wouldn't even have electricity. We would be, I would be writing the letters. I would be on the hear ye, hear ye. All of you women, stop putting rice nipple juice in your hair. Hear ye, hear ye. I would be sending out a bird with a letter like, oh my God, thank God. Like we have to keep evolving, bro. We have to keep going. We've stopped. Oh yeah, I love it. 
I see a question. Sorry, I missed a lot of the live. Can you answer the question? Can you oil your scalp for stimulation, but wash it out the same day? Love. The second that you put it on your scalp, it goes into the follicle. What are you trying to stimulate? You stimulate things from the inside. Your scalp only is going to absorb. Your scalp only absorbs 62% of what you put on it. The hair shaft, 36 but whatever you ingest into the body, the body absorbs anywhere between 96 to 98% of what you put in it. So if you wanna do something with your hair follicle, it needs to be what you eat. Your hair, skin, and nails are produced within your gut. You know, the biotin that everybody's trying to get y'all to take, biotin is produced in the human gut by your microbiome. So if you want to produce, if you want to trigger hair growth, change what you eat. Shop the apothecary. Get some of my herbal blends. Change the way that you're eating, what you inputting in your body. All you're doing when you put oil on your scalp is feeding this bacteria. When you put oil on your scalp, this is what you're doing. There is a bacteria that lives on your scalp. It's the same bacteria that starts a staph infection. It's the same exact bacteria. And all you do when you oil your scalp is feed the bacteria. Look it up. The bacteria that lives on your scalp's favorite food is oil. That is its favorite food. Not water, nothing. Oil. So when you put oil on your scalp, the only thing that you are feeding, the only thing that you are helping is the bacteria that lives on your scalp. You are multiplying it. You are doubling it up. You are making it stronger. You putting oil on your scalp is like giving the bacteria that lives on your scalp a red bull. That's what you're doing. The natural bacteria that lives on your scalp, you are giving it a red bull when you put oil on your scalp. That's its favorite food. Your scalp has natural oils in the sebaceous gland. It creates an oil called sebum. And that oil comes directly out of the sebaceous gland and onto the scalp. And this is why you have to wash it because there's a natural bacteria that lives on your scalp whose favorite food is oil. So you wash it off. This is why somebody of Caucasian descent, like this is why somebody who has naturally straight hair gets lice because they're attracted to the sebum, the bacteria that is there, it morphs, it grows. That's why they wash their hair more often so that bacteria won't turn into something else. If you put oil on your face, it turns into a black head or a white head. Why do you think anything different is going to happen to the scalp? Oil does not belong on the hair in any way, shape, or form. The reason that it's promoted so much is because they make a whole lot of money. If the majority of the women who are on this planet believe that they have to have oil in their hair for their hair to be healthy, you're going to make a lot of fucking money. Because they've brainwashed a black woman to believe that her scalp is the only one on the planet that don't produce oil. Because they put you in bondage, making you believe that to be a real black girl, you gotta have straight hair. And that the, if you do straighten your hair, that you're gonna damage it and it's gonna break off. But the truth behind it is, is blow drying your hair helps to get the sebum from the roots to the ends and it makes the hair stronger, helping you to retain length. That's why everybody else got hair to their ass because they all understand how to help the, the sebum travel from roots to ends. But we're scared of blow dryers or too lazy to use them. Sorry. Stop I hope you're not talking to me and you're talking to yourself because I got my uterus cut open twice. So I hope you're not talking to me because I'm my uterus was cut open twice. So I know you're not telling me what to do because I got two C-section scars. Thank you. I'm not even mad. I honestly just just been confused. I'm glad I followed your page and I want to learn more. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm really, that's why I say it. Don't watch this if you soft, because I'm not saying it like you stupid. And I'm not saying that my, my intensity is not going towards you. My intensity is going to the fact that they have really fucked my sister's minds up. Like y'all really think that y'all don't got what it takes. Like black women are literally walking around looking for their phone with it up to their ear. Y'all are all walking around like, where's, girl, 
my phone? Nowhere. Where's my natural oil? Where's my, you got everything you need. That's why everything you go towards don't work because you are not looking inside to see what you already got. You looking for everything outside of you when everything that you need is within. Why are you fighting? So that's what every black woman who's listening to the sound of my voice. Why are you so angry when I bring up? No, don't you don't do wash and goes, don't do twist outs. Why does that make you so mad? You are under mind control. I'm sorry. And, and what's happening is that shit breaking. And as it's breaking, it's making you angry. It's making you upset. It's shaking some shit. Let it shake because it's dumb. It's dumb. Let's use common sense. Become your own scientist. Do the process of elimination. If you got, if you, if you got 10 mice, you got 10 mice. You give all of the mice the same thing, but you put all of the mice in different environments and then you go look at the outcome. You're going to be able to say, OK, through reasoning, like, OK, through putting them, even though they all had the same, everything is the same. These ones under this circumstance got this result. And the, the determinant factor, the only the only only common denominator was this change of environment. That is what's happening with black women. Everybody has the same sebaceous gland, the same sebum, everything. The only difference is the size of the follicle and the softer to softer linkages. Everybody retains length the same way. Sebum being able to travel from the top to the bottom. Everybody gets it from the top to the bottom the same way with a blow dryer. But there is one group of women who A, either don't feel like doing it, or B, think that it's the devil. So they won't do the one thing that everybody else does to retain length and they don't have it. But yet you fight and argue and, and disrespect each other just to stay in change that is brainwashed. Because the only reason that you can give me on why your way is better than the way that women have been doing here for the last 50, 60, 80, 90 years is because you like the way the curls look and because it's faster and easier. Shuka shuka no no. Thank you so much, everybody who's answering questions that I already asked. Hey, it is what it is. Um, you, how would you feel <laughs> if you've been saying the same thing on the same platform for about 10 years? And it is not until right now, like within this year, that people actually started listening without calling me bitches and hoes for the things that I've been saying. I've had so many of y'all favorite team natural people make hate videos send me hate comments all types of stuff so yeah i'm not gonna be as oh, I like how will you feel if you've been saying the same exact words to the same people day in and day out for over a decade you would be tired too you wouldn't be like oh again for the 337th time all you have to do is, no, I'm not going to be fake like that. That's why the majority of people that y'all are seeing, that's why every day it's a new scandal because y'all favorite celebrities are being fake and they're putting on masks to make themselves more pliable and taste better for more people to be able to receive. I'm not going to like one day snap and have a mental breakdown because I'm pretending to be somebody else that I'm not to make other people feel good. That's why I said don't watch if you're sensitive. I'm not saying that you are. I'm just saying, I'm not gonna change myself to be more susceptible to people. <laughs> yeah. The Bible says people all the text is to go and get the knowledge from someone who knows more than you. But that's the thing though, like people, the people who know more about the subject have we've been saying it for years, but that's you know. It's been one month since I've started to use leave-ins and blow-dry. 
the sebum being able to get down my hair shaft has left my hair so conditioned. My products are going to be, are going to last so much longer now. There's no big secret. There's no big secret. It's so simple. My daughter just turned 12 in November 5th and she bought a shop at Spree too. Happy birthday to your daughter. Thank you, it's my sugar bear. I will be binge watching your videos tomorrow. Please do, and this is the thing. I've had to reform the way that I do my videos because once I stopped doing silk press videos, YouTube basically stopped sending notifications out to people. So other than the silk press videos that you've seen the last three days, just go. I've never stopped making videos. I've been posting at least two videos a week forever. Every problem that y'all have, I've made a video on talking about already. Speaking the truth, Sarah, is your question? Yeah. Yes. Well, if you have to wear your hair multiple times a day, as a Muslim, we have to wear ourselves for prayer. Oh, what should I do after? Sit under a dryer? I don't know. Really... You just dry it. You just have to dry it. There's no like trick thing. You just gotta dry it. Like sit under a dryer or use a blow or, I don't know, sit under a dryer. Um, for curly hair, do you think the straightening of the hair every other week is okay? Otherwise, I run brush my hair and blow dry. It's, I don't see a problem with it as long as you have the right tools. As long as you don't overload your hair with product and as long as you use the heat protective. The majority of the earth does it. The, it's a my it's a very the women who don't straighten their hair every day are in the minority not the majority the majority of women on the planet blow dry and straighten their hair on a on a every like a, at least every other day or at least once a week so if blow dryers made people tear bald and fall out all of the women on the planet will be bald but they're not only the women who don't use the blow dryer so interesting. What can we use to help lay down our edges a bit? I use edge control. Um, edge tamer, y'all. Like a product for edges. Like that. Products for edges. Okay. How can we book a consultation with you? Um. So go to my website, which I'm about to put back on the bottom. And when you go to my website, um, go over to the drop down tab and where it says book send, and then just click the book send tab and then just follow the prompt on the screen. And it is doing good. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, my grandma say in roller sets and blow dryers and silk press. Everyone's still trying to figure out why she not bald head like them. It's like oh, like I, oh my god, it is insanity. Like we. We look, we be like, our ancestors and use blow dryers, but we still have living, breathing ancestors on this planet. And none of them do wash and goes. They're all either doing roller sets or flexi rod sets. Like everybody, oh, what what do I do other than, just do a roller set or flexi rod set. They're, every curl pattern on this earth has a flexi rod to match the curl pattern or a perm rod set to match the perm rods. And I know it because when I was in cosmetology school, the perm rods were for white women. We use the perm rods and they would look at pictures of curls, of black women's curls and be like, I want my curls to look like that. And depending on what picture they wanted, they pointed to would be the curl that we would put in there. That would be the roller that we would pick. Y'all can do the same thing. 
but instead y'all want to use 30 million products and then did you know if you got a road set you still you still use the less product than you use it with your wash and goes if you get a roller set all you're gonna use is a leave-in conditioner and foam that's it that's it and if you use the serum at the end it's only if you got like if your hair is frizzy but most of the time you don't even do that a leave-in conditioner and a foam wrap is all you need to do a foam a, a roller set a flexi rise set or anything but you need 37 products to do a wash and go or to do a twist out but y'all are more stuck on twist outs than all of the 50 million other like they're so and i'm just saying roller sets and flexi rise sets but they're so like i don't even know what they call the one little thing is and you like stick your hair through the bottom of it it's like there's so many different things that y'all can do like and i and like i said i know it seems like oh you're aggressive it's i'm not aggressive it's so annoying y'all gotta understand you're you're telling a woman who would stand on her feet doing other people's hair from freaking seven o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock ten o'clock at night five days a week that you don't feel like doing your hair one day out of the month one day every two weeks and then you want me to make up something so you could do it real quick like what she turned 89 head full of hair yes because she doing her rollers and look and she probably ain't gonna she ain't gonna stop getting her uh blowouts and her roller sets until she head out girl bye that's what i'm talking about we got living breathing ancestors right here and we won't we doing wash and go not to mention, most of y'all grandmas is telling y'all that y'all stupid for doing that too. I remember it was so many older black women telling their granddaughters not to do the Gina curl, but y'all all went and let that old white lady give y'all a damn Jerry curl. And then was yelling at me for saying that it was like, girl, the real lazy naturals would be at the salon every other week letting stylists roller set with perm rods and get the same look with twist outs and healthy hair. Let me say this. Let me say this. And I'm not going to say their name because I can't because I signed the NDA. But it's a couple of y'all favorite YouTubers that used to get flexi rod sets by me and then went home and filmed videos showing a, a twist, uh, a washing up. Have y'all ever wondered why y'all wash and goes don't come out the same way that theirs do on the videos? Hmm. Lazy natural hell, yeah, they lazy because they pockets fat as hell for selling you bullshit. Hell yeah, they lazy. We wrap our hair and wipe over the hair so it's not super. So that don't count, babe. That's different. I thought you mean y'all be going like, it's like y'all be good. But that's, that's, you good. Don't worry about that. Let that hair dry. You good. Don't worry about that. And I wasn't being disrespectful. I just don't want to get, girl, I don't be commenting on other people's culture. I don't be doing that, girl. I can't say nothing about the Lord now. Nah. I'm not getting into your Lord. Listen, you can't get wet by the word of water. God is God regardless of what you decide to call. So I'm not I'm not messing with your representation of the Lord's girl, okay? I'm not about to mess with your representation of the Lord's. I respect your representation of the Lord's. And I expect you to respect mine. It's not the same as yours, but I respect your representation of the Lord's. If we concentrate on having healthy hair, what saying is teaching will make sense. Oh my God, yes. Because ease and and something fast, those are not things that coincide with having with having curly hair. You don't have it easy. You know that saying y'all love, too much is given, much is required. That's in the Bible. I, I know the Bible by heart. Too much is given, much is required. Who do you what hello? You have the most bonds within your hair. The curlier your hair is, the more disulfide bonds you have. So why do you think that you have to do less than everybody else? Like, thank you, Bill. I love you. Thank you. Can you advise on how to deal with sweat? I mean, ooh, I show sure can because I got high porosity hair and I sweat all the time. That's why my hair is like this. 
So I do styles and I wear my hair in styles that are gonna blend with my hair when I sweat out because there's nothing you can do about it. Trying to stop sweat from your hair reverting back when it sweats is like trying to stop yourself from getting wet when you go outside in the rain. It's impossible, you can't. All you can do is just make sure that your hair is in ways that is not gonna cause it to get damaged. So. I do certain styles that make sure that no matter what, when my hair reverts back, it's not a big deal. Like my hair is like this, right? And this texture is, it resembles my hair when it's blown out. So when my hair does sweat in the middle of the night, it doesn't matter. Like I didn't have to get up and do anything to it because it matches my hair's natural texture. It is when you are trying to work against your body that you mess up. So you don't need to try to find anything to prevent the sweat. What you need to do is find styles that work with it. So that's why I would say if, if for example, if you were to come in for a consultation with me and try to get a silk press, I would tell you that a regular silk press isn't an option for you. Maybe we could do a silk press, but we can add clip-ins right because the clip ins if let, for example let's say you work out or just you sweat in general so when i sweat my the when i sweat sometimes the reason well, no not when i sweat but with clip ins if you have clip ins in like for example let's say you have them like when you go outside or whatever and you sweat and you can take those clip ins will absorb some of the sweat and it's not going to make your hair revert back as much i know that sounds gross but that's what it is and you could get um some dry shampoo like this dry shampoo from olaplex is great and you could get some dry shampoo and you can just spray down the clip ins and keep them um keep them clean like that that really really helps and that works too for people who have really really oily hair you can get clip ins and it doesn't have to be long like you're like oh i love my hair i don't want to try to make it longer oh. like you can get clip ins that match your length right and if they're too long you can cut them and you can just have them in there for absorption either sweat absorption or oil absorption and I like if I wear my hair uh, straight, that's what I do because my hair is super oily and I get my, my um, I have a, a, a really active sweat gland. So I sweat a lot in my scalp as well. So what I would do, I wear my hair straight for like a week. And then by the end of the week, it's reverting back to what trying to and my hair is real oily. So I'll use dry shampoo and i'll blow dry my hair a little bit like on low heat and then i'll put the clip ins in and i'll blow dry that together and then it's like perfect you can't even see you can't tell no therapy what should i look for when purchasing a blow dryer um to be honest i don't know nothing just get a blow dryer boo. don't spend that much money you can my favorite blow dryer is hot tool so just well, well not my favorite blow dryer but like like for, for you, non-professional blow dryer, just get like a hot tools blow dryer. They never fail. I love going to the salon. I'm just caregiving right now and I can't really get out, thankful. Oh, that's so nice. That's so good when you have like a hairstylist that you got a relationship with. That's why I'm like, y'all stop saying that hairstylists are the devil. You just ain't found no good one. My 11 year old son has curly hair and has been growing it out for at least three years. I have been spraying it and putting leave in on it daily before I found your videos. Now I'm unsure what to do with it. Leave it alone. Do y'all real? Okay, think about it. If you have a husband or a brother or anybody, you know a man don't do nothing to his hair, but he still got to go get a haircut every week. Only women put 50 million things on their hair. Like my favorite rapper, Big Sean. Big Sean hair is probably longer than everybody in this life. Do you think that man is greasing his scalp? Men don't do anything to their hair and they sit hair still grows. Leave your son's hair the heck alone. Leave his hair alone, girl. Leave his hair alone. You're going to give your son hydro fatigue. Leave it alone. Uh, wash your son's hair. Put some leave-in conditioner in it. Put uh, some and then put a part down the middle and put two fresh braids in his head. The reason that I say twist outs and mini twists, y'all putting 50 million cabillion braids in y'all head, putting all those products in y'all head, and then wondering why y'all hair keep breaking off. 
And then y'all just leave it like that. It's just sitting there. And then you just come back and add more product and add more oil. And then you leave it like that. And then you untwist it. And then you do the same thing all over again. You never blow dry. You never... Like, so you don't have to do none of that. Just leave his hair alone, girl. Men, think about it. Men do not have a problem growing hair. Only women have a problem growing hair. A man goes to get a haircut. If a man don't go get a haircut in two weeks, he will look like a wolf. Anybody to anybody know I ain't lying. Your husband decide he want to grow his hair is going to be there. No problem. And he don't need to add no oil. And that's why men's hair grow so fast because they're nothing like us. They don't try to put 50 million things in their hair. They just let it happen. Do you think silicones? I sure do. I got a video coming on silicones next week. I got you. I'm going to have a whole video on it. A lot of people ain't going to like it, but them taking away silicones was when shit started. We in the industry, we knew some shit was about to pop off when they start xing out silicones because most of y'all got damaged ass hair because they took all well because y'all only go oh i'm looking for products with no silicone no silicone and then y'all wonder why y'all hair is messed up because if y'all go and just do your own research go and, and when you get bored sit down and go look back go look back in time and go look when did most of the team natural products and stuff started it's around the same time they were saying no silicones and then they replaced it with something else look y'all girl she ain't like under old school hairstyles yes like my eyes be going in what the fuck is <laughs> Magic cheap breaks. The hot comb that's slow holding the hair. Listen. And that, that was because our mamas kept our hair stretched. Our mamas wasn't doing wash and go on our hair. They were not. <laughs> the same um, tip that I gave with the clip ears. But not to mention, people be like, oh, well, our ancestors greased our hair. Well, first of all, your ancestors were slaves and they were not greasing their scalps out of health. They were greasing their scalps because they were standing in the sun picking cotton all day in under the sun. And sun exposure, that would really hurt on the scalp after a long time. And it just kept going generation to generation. But even our grandmother's generation, our grandmothers greased our scalps, right? But they also put V O they also washed our hair with VO5. Like some of the strongest shampoos in the world. So we didn't get follicle disorders because they were using some of the strongest shampoos with super sulfates. So y'all greasing the scalp still, but y'all using sulfate free shampoo. Y'all not even using shampoo. You using co-wash and conditioner. But you still do you do are you are you are you catching my trip? Are you catching my drip? Yes, that Marcel scent smell like new money. It do. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I love when my mom and us would come home from the salon. It would be like the, the mixture of the Marcel and the whole in spray. It's like fruity. I don't know. Oh, it just smell like a, I don't even know what to say. Time out. No, you don't got to time out the wash and go people with God, Lee, because they're not doing nothing wrong, but it's just, it's just brainwash. It's like, I'm not about to pin up. Ooh, Shalissa just scared the shit. <laughs> oh, I thought somebody was sitting behind me, Shalissa. Oh my gosh, I almost blew Shalissa's over. <sighs> they shouldn't have used grease and hot comb, though. That's probably why most girls... No, they, they shouldn't have used it. But we've evolved, though. 
Because when I got in the hair salon, I wasn't using uh I didn't use a person comb or a Marcel iron. I was using the flat irons and a lot of the older women that was there was like, girl, you know you ain't gonna be able to do nothing with that flat iron. But things evolved and things changed, but we still kept the core the same. But then when YouTube came, it was like, no, oh, I mean, hairstylists are evil and they're the problem. They're the problem. I've legit seen growth since using you no know, heat and doing wash and goes. I guess it could be further along for me. Hair weathering takes anywhere between six weeks and 25 years to setting it. So the the women that I see on my channel have been doing their wash and goes for like, I would have women come book appointments with me like, I haven't washed, I've been doing wash and goes and stuff. I've been doing it for six years. It's about to be my first time that I've straightened my hair in six years. And then I straightened their hair and it's only thick to about right here, but it's to their back, but you can see through to their soul. Listen to me. I am making these videos to try to prevent you from being in the situation that so many women are in. This is another woman who is a part of my group right now, right? She just said, my hair was he healthy back in the day, child. Exactly what you said. We stretch our hair thinking it's long, then boom, we get a blow dry and a silk press and it's not long at all. This is how her hair looked before this is how her hair looked before she started on her team natural stuff. This is how her hair looked right before she went to go get it straightened because it was super long and thick because of her team natural. And then this is how her hair looked once they straightened it out. This is how their hair, her hair looked once they straightened it out. You need to make sure that you are not being like pushed under the rug and under these product lines feet. Because that's what you're doing. Your wash and goals are going to lead to this. I am not trying to scare you, but keep doing everything that you're doing. And the day that you straighten your hair, please don't be like, God, why me? Because today, on December 29th, 2023, at 8.22 p.m. Pacific time, I told you what was going to happen. So do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. This is the end result. From this to all of her washing goes to this. And it took years. And this is her saying it, not me. This is her saying it, not me. Let's go to some more. Let's go to some more people. No, that's low buzz, not wash and goes. I'm gonna find you a wash and goer. To find you a wash and goer. Here we go. This is a good one. I love her. This is a good one. I've been growing my hair out from a big chop for the last six months. I wear wash and goes all the time. I've been scared of heat since going natural. So I would only send my straighten my hair two times a year to trim. So I mainly only use the blow dryer to trim a little. I would trim each curl wet in between major trims so I was missing a lot of damage. I actually pressed my hair out today and it was bad. Crunchy ends from tons and from tons of single strand knots and the hair was breaking off at the knot. But I didn't know because my hair looks great in the wash and go style chopped all the bad stuff off and i'm going to incorporate some of the things that i'm learning from you been a curly natural for 10 years so i have to relearn a lot of stuff listen do your thug fizzle if that is what you want to do do it that is the end of team natural i don't care what anybody says so keep doing it if that's what you want to do everything works until it does it Okay, not be a rule, but everything works until it does it. I've been using single pencil jerk. 
No, it's fine. As long as you, I don't know what the name of the blow dryer is. As long as it's not that glory hole blow dryer, you fine. I cannot stand that blow dryer. As long as it's not the glory hole blow dryer, you're fine. The one where you stick. Z don't get that. Other than that, a blow dryer is a blow dryer. $500 glory hole. Y'all judge me for going to glory hole, sticking they thing and laying through holes, but y'all buy $500 holes and sticking it in there. I once went to a girl, I loved her as a hairdresser, but I had to tell her, why in the heck are you flat ironing my hair so straight? I was, girl. But it's, it, but it's that's user error. That's not the flat iron, that's the girl not knowing what she was doing. She just ain't know what she was doing. That's why you got to get consultations. Exactly. Okay, so the growth is more from less heat than moisture of wash and go. I see that. A oh, wash and go don't give you moisture, baby. When I listen to me, my love, you are so beautiful. They are playing you. That's how they get your money. To tell you that your hair needs moisture. The human body, male, female, black, white, Puerto Rican, Mexican, Peruvian, you get your moisture from two places the environment, that's why your porosity matters, that's why you don't lock your hair down with a bunch of products, because your cuticle needs to be able to open and close, right? Your hair absorbs moisture from the environment and from the water that you drink. The human hair shaft does not hold any water within itself. And the other moisture that you get is from the sebum that is coming from your scalp. So you have to keep the scalp clean and clear so the sebum can make its way from the roots to the ends. And social media has you think, oh, it has to drip. No, it is a waxy substance. It doesn't drip down anybody's hair shaft. It has to be combed down. So this is why your finger detangling doesn't work. And if you are doing a wash and go, the only way that your curls can look good is if you put a bunch of products on it, but guess what? If you got products on your hair, the sebum that's coming out of your scalp never touches the hair shaft. So that's why your hair is dry all the time. The women with the longest hair on this planet don't put nothing on their hair. All they do is shampoo condition, leave in condition, blow dry or set the bond because everybody with long hair don't blow dry. Some of them do flexi rod sets, roller sets, and then they walk away. That's it, that's all. Thank you, baby. Sex. I keep my daughter's hair in twin style and wash and clothes. Her hair seems long and healthy until she we wear it straight one day for school and she was shocked it was so damaged. Exactly. Like it curly hair. Curly hair is stretched. Curl you can see curly hair because curly hair is swollen when it is wet you cannot see the true length of anything swollen that's with anything that's with anything when you bloat it can you see your true weight or do you look a little chunky that you normally are for that picture you don't want to take that picture that day because you blow it. you a little chunky you ain't really that chunky that ain't really it that's not really how you look you can't go trying on clothes when you're bloated because you're swollen it's not going to be an accurate measurement. It's the same thing with your hair. Why do we think just because we want to use products and use and we don't feel like doing it our, our hair that we can change the science of the human body? It don't fucking it don't whoop, it don't work like that. Like that's it's it's that is so frustrating. Oh, I didn't even read it. It's so frustrating. I know it's frustrating to hear the same question over and over and over again, but I swear. I get the days worth of entertainment online sometimes. Thank you for your patience and knowledge. I be I actually am not a very patient person. You can ask my husband. I'm working on it. 
I'm not patient. Like my, I'll be doing something and my battery will be, and I'll be like, oh, babe, can you come? He'd be like, go in the room. I got it. I, I'm not a patient person. And I, I'm really trying. Oh my God, I'm scared. I haven't used a blow jar straight my hair in three years. Do you hear yourself though? You're like, you scared of a blow dryer, but you eat Doritos? Do you eat Doritos? Do you go to McDonald's? Like it is, it's brainwash. Why are you like, girl, you practice on a, on a mannequin. Like I need you, girl, woo. Think about how, how psychotic it is that the majority of the planet uses a blow dryer, but you are scared of them. You're scared of a tool? Yeah, watch the video over. I follow Sam for years. I had a consultation with her. No change to my hair regimen. My hair is healthy and halfway down my back. Thank you, Angela. Oh. How do men get away with it? How do men get away with what? How do men get away with what? That hair growing naturally? Men don't wash and go. I don't, and if he do, his hair is unhealthy too. I did, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I do men's hair too. And it's not one man walking the face of this earth that's like, blow dryers are bad. Don't blow dry my hair. Every man's hair I've ever done, I blow dry his hair and trimmed his ends. And he ain't saying a word. What are you talking about? Men do not do the stupid stuff that women do. Men are not doing wash and goes. And if men are doing wash and goes, it's because his wife or his girlfriend got them doing it. What man do you know is sitting at home? Liquid oil cream, bitch. Yes. Those men probably are. Big Sean is not at home. Liquid oil cream. Men who grow hair down their back are not at home. Liquid oil cream, wash and go, twist out. They are not. What are you talking about? Oh, dog. What are we talking about? Stop looking for excuses, my love. There is no excuse. There is no excuse. If you're going to still do your wash and goes and your twist outs, you are doing it for one reason and one reason only. You do not feel like learning more and you don't feel like changing because you have no value doing the twist out. The only two things that it brings you is you don't have to, you don't have to think about your hair. You don't have to do nothing. And all you got to do is twist it and put products in it and you can leave it there. You like the way that it looks and it's convenient. Other than that, it has no long-term goal. Like y'all, like, come on. I'm about to stop answering your questions because you making my ears ache. I'm not being rude, but like, come on. Like, stop, stop at, like, if you want to ask me something, ask me something to help you get a step further than where you are. Stop looking for excuses. There's no excuse. It's laziness. Think of something else to do with your hair. Or end up where everybody else is. It's just as simple as that, bro. I don't have any shortcuts. Do your hair, man. When I went natural the second time from a shortcut, I did perm rods until I was able to do a roller set. It's so simple. Lady, this doesn't mean health, but healthy hair will retain. <laughs> And I just, me and Angela just talk because it's Chicago, right? It's just, oh, Angela, I'm trying to go. I'm trying so hard. So that's why CP got a haircut instead of a truth. I don't know who will be there. 
I kind of struggled with my first time blow drying my hair, but I took my time in sections. But y'all, just get, I ain't putting Shalisa back up there. She's getting shabby. Just get a mannequin. Just get a mannequin. Practice on the mannequin. When I first went to cosmetology school, when you go and you get your student loan, you pay for like one for a kit, right? You pay for a big kit. And in my kit came all of my flat irons and all of that stuff and two mannequins. But I didn't get a curly head mannequin though. But we were in the classroom. Excuse me. I think I was in school for a little under two years. And I want to say like the first five months I was in a classroom and all I did was practice on the mannequin. And it wasn't until... I passed my test on the mannequin that I got to get on the floor and start doing work on clients. So, why do y'all think y'all got to be any different than I was? Get a mannequin, practice blow drying on your hair. Do, like, why do y'all think that cosmetologists just pop out of the coochie knowing how to do hair? We don't. Practice. Get a mannequin, practice, and don't get in your hair until you can do the mannequin's hair. Like, stop being a test dummy. These YouTubers have been test dummies, but they've been getting paid for it. You just being a test dummy and being mad, crying, because your hair broke off, not you. I wonder if younger generations even know what a roller set is. Probably not. And that's, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, because who else is? And at this rate, my daughter's generation will think that all of hair care is wash and goes. And over my dead body, over my dead body, I wish in the book, no, hell no. Because my daughter, like, oh, so what is that wash? Nothing. Nothing. It ain't wash and go comb your goddamn hair is what it is. So my daughter and her friends know better. Some of these girls don't know how to clean their hair to begin with. Then they pile on products. They never have a clean scalp. And this is another reason hair can't stay moisturized. Oh my God, Kendra, with your beautiful self. Exactly. And the thing is, it's not just, okay. like, I'm not going to never wear your hair. You can wear your hair curly sometimes, every day. Your life forever is just going to be like that. You ain't going to never comb it. You ain't going to never blow dry it to see. You ain't going to never trim your hands. Nothing. You just, God made me here with curly hair. So I'm going to do it like this. Even though like your lips be crusty in the morning, God made your lips crusty in the morning, but you still wipe them boys off. You hurt my feelings a little bit, but I'm going to push through because you're teaching me a lot. But don't let me hurt, my, hurt your feelings. Somebody who know you, who don't know you, who's never met you before, shouldn't hurt your feelings. Anything that I'm saying, I'm making you, I'm not hurting your feelings. I'm making you uncomfortable. And guess what? Your spirit woman has known this the whole time. So what's what you feel is her like, thank God, shit. Sick of this shit. I'm not hurting your feelings. Your spirit woman is happy that you finally done with the dumb stuff. That's what it is. It ain't me. I'm just the messenger. Y'all walking around acting like y'all not the answer. Y'all walking around looking for the answer and you are the answer. No. We not doing it. What's your take on braids? I like I love braids as long as they're not done with edge control in between every part. People who do twist outs also wear their hair and retwist daily. Exactly. Ex oh, that see, this is what I'm talking about with accountability. People are like, I do twist outs. And every time you you do twist outs and then you wet it every day. And even if you think I don't add water, if you use a cream, yes, you do. Creams are made with water. If you use the gel, yes, you do. You're wetting it every day. Gels are made with water. If you're using a conditioner, yes, you do. Conditioners are made with water. Sin has called me out on my laziness. I'm sorry. I love y'all, but I'm your sis. And like people love me like, oh, sis. But y'all don't really mean it. Y'all be being nice nasty. Be like, oh, that's my sister. You don't really mean that. Because your sister, your real sister, when you be in a dust bucket, is going to tell you that you a dust bucket. That's what a sister does. Y'all been fake. Sis, sis, that's not your sis. That's 
she don't got your best interest at heart. She letting you do stupid shit so she can get a profit off of you. She is not your sister. Your sister is going to tell you you look dumb. You look dumb. And you're going to be a bald head skittle diddle with no hair in the middle. It looks cute now, but in a minute you're going to be bald head. And don't call me when you bald head because I don't want to hear it. That's what your sister would tell you. That's what somebody who loves you would tell you. Like, I'm not here to be, oh, oh, it's okay. Oh, guys, it's okay to do stupid stuff. Look, I'm going to play this clip. One friend that always tells you the truth, that never beats around the bush, never walks on eggshells, that hurts your feelings sometimes, he's not the asshole. All your other friends that sit idly by while you destroy yourself and tell you that you're just fine the way you are, they're the assholes. The best friends you can have in the world are the ones that don't care what you want to hear, they only tell you what you need to hear, and they'll keep it 100% real always. The friends that you hate the most in the short term are gonna be the ones that you love the most in the long term because they have your best interests in mind, they wanna see you fulfill your potential and be what they know you can be. One, one friend that always tells you the truth. I'm sorry. I'm the friend who sees the things that you don't see and tells you, and I'm gonna push you, even if you don't wanna be pushed because I care more about you not walking off this bridge than I do about you being mad at me for this little minute. Like, I, I really don't care. I really don't. Because for the last 10 years, everything that I have ever told y'all not to do, and the because it was going to end up a certain way, has happened. From rice water to apple cider vinegar to every, from Gina Curl. People making videos now saying all oh, their hair coming out from Gina Curl. Like, I, I don't care. I'm not trying to be liked. That's not why I'm here. I'm not here to be liked. I don't need to be liked. I'm, my dad, my mom, my dad, Lord, my mom has a son. He's 10 years older than me. And my dad has two daughters. They were twins. they like 17 years older than me. I have walked this world alone. I do not need a friend. I am not trying to be anybody's friend. I am not trying to be anybody's hero. I'm here for a reason. And it's to break up this stupid shit. Because, and and don't get it twisted. I'm not saying, oh, I'm here to break up stuff with him. No, I'm here to change your focus. But the other stuff that I want to talk about and I want to get into, I can't even get into that. Get into that with y'all yet. Y'all minds are too cloudy. Y'all still think that y'all are low. Y'all still think that y'all need products to do y'all hair. I can't move to bigger shit with y'all. We still stuck on, floor, on, on the floor. We're still on level one. Hold on, my well, I'm not alone. I meant like my husband said he just he heard me. He just texted me, "You're not alone." I kick your ass. <laughs> not not like that. I mean, like I meant like as it pertains to girls, like females, like friends. We're brothers. We're happy. And we're singing. And we're color. Like all of that. Sorry. He <sighs> said the fuck. Here's the tip for him. I really said the wrap the scarf the shower cap and then put another smog. Ooh. Great idea. I do something similar. I like put on I just put on a couple of scarves and a bonnet and a shower cap. It gets real in the field. Right, it shouldn't take six hours for someone to do their own hair. That's what I'm saying. And y'all be like, this is the right way. Six hours, you sound insane. I can do 13 people in one day. It takes you six hours to do your hair. You're insane. That's insane. Whoever doesn't have rollers better go out and get some. Y'all, Do y'all want me to go on Amazon and show y'all some? You're right, Sienna. It's insanity. I can see it now for too long. So many mixed messages for the purpose of profit. And that's what I'm saying. And listen, this is the thing. Mixed messages are going to keep coming. They're not going to stop. The thing that has to change is you. You have to stop being so easily manipulated. You have to change. They're never going to stop. It's never going to stop. People are always going to need to make money. It's never going to stop.
And I'm not saying that it's something wrong with, with hair products. It's something wrong with you using hair products as your hair care regimen. Pro hair products are tools to help you with the regimen. I find it offensive. Like I am a licensed cosmetologist and to say that a hair product is responsible for me getting the result that I get is insanity. I don't care what leave-in conditioner you give me, I will murder a round brush in a silk press. I don't care what you give me. I don't care what leave air conditioner I have. I never, I've never had hair damage. I got my hair done weekly. My dang hair just there messed up my hair by turning the flat hair up, which never made sense. Mm -hmm. And that was just that one. Back some time ago, I was looking for your videos and thought, I imagined them. I literally was trying to match with your videos with that there and I couldn't mystery solve. But I had, like I said, I had took, I deleted all of my um my old Silk Press videos because like I said, the way that most people are brainwashed now are, that's how they were when I was doing hair and I couldn't take it. Like I, like the same way I'm, I am now, imagine having to do that in person all day. I quit. I quit. I quit my job. Not to mention, before I started doing hair, I quit every job I've ever worked at if they came at me. I work for myself. My daddy told me when I was like 17, you probably gonna have to work for yourself because you can't just cut. I will quit. Who are you talking to? I was, I started, I was about to say something. I was about to say, I don't hey. Some form go. Oh, I just went. If you look at a lot of the natural YouTubers, they be doing multiple big chops. I wonder why. I don't wonder why they do multiple big chops because all that twisting and twirling and shit be breaking their hair off. They be like, oh shit, my hair broke off. Big chop, new year, new me, new look. <gasps> look, I got a new car and I got a new tattoo. So I figured I get a new haircut. Team natural. On the ones and twos, and y'all just be like, yeah, you're a black girl, and you're pretty. Don't let them make us feel ugly anymore. We're pretty. Look at our curls. If y'all don't grow up. With the consultation within the time, it's a lot of my area. I'm starting fresh. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, just get some eyeballs on it. And then just see it real quick. And then if you want to, when you get done wearing, after you get done getting your trim, if you want to wear your hair curly for a couple days and then or for a week or, I mean, I don't recommend it, but if that's what you want to do, then whatever. You're going to have to get the trim again in a minute, but if that's what you want to do, be up for the fizzle, like I guess. But I'm no longer natural, but I use twists. After washing, I leave it for a week. Natural hair took me four hours for wash days. Wish I had found you back then. It's okay, baby. I remember an older video, you had twin clients, their hair was so long and beautiful. And guess what? I'm posting them again. I'm posting that video again. And guess what? They never did wash and goes, ever. It was so much, okay, I posted Raven, it was, Lord, I don't know if it was Raven or Kendra whose video got to a million views. I'm sorry, y'all have just like, I think it was Kendra. No, I think it was Raven's hair that I cut. I don't know. Sorry, they look just, they're identical twins. One has a gap and one doesn't. Anyway, and I just don't remember. I, anyway, so I would do their hair, right? And when I did their hair, they silk wrap would last them like three weeks. And they both had kids and one worked, I think both of them worked at the post office. So they like, like, I don't got time, but they was, they were, they didn't grease their scalp. They don't grease their scalps. They don't do wash and goes literally for that long ass hair. You know what they do? The way the stuff would go, I would, sh I would do their hair. It would last them for about three weeks. If they couldn't make it in, they would be like, send, don't yell at us. We'll push it to four. Cause like sometimes they'll come out and be like, you blow your whole hair. They'll be like, no, this is still the same. But they didn't, their hair didn't have no oils in it, no butters. So I wasn't tripping because they hadn't added any additional products to their hair. 
And then when they did blow dry it, all they would do was like cart it down the middle, blow dry their hair with just a leave-in conditioner, and then they would put it like in a in a braid, like one French braid going back here and one French braid going back here. But they would sit in there making all of these parts and then doing all of these individual braids all over their head, and then going back the next day, untwisting them, adding products, then twisting them back up every day. No. They dried their hair and left it to hell alone. And through ever since I've been out here in Vegas, every woman that I know of another race who does who has long hair, every woman that I know that has long hair, I don't know one woman who do team natural stuff. Not one. They all literally wash their hair and leave it the hell alone. They don't touch it. Most women with long hair, my clients with that had long hair would keep their hair in ponytails most of the time. And not tight ponytails like ponytails with clips on it. So the things that women do to grow long hair are things that women who actually have long hair don't do. Women who have long hair do not do the type of stuff that y'all doing. See, and does hair stigma for low porosity hair damage the bonds? I mean, no, low porosity hair is the only texture that does need it. But I wouldn't do it repetitively, like do it on your on your deep conditioning days. Don't do it every time you wash your hair. Just do it on your deep conditioning days. But on low porosity hair, no. On high porosity hair, yes, because the cuticle is already open. Can I use perm rods on my dry hair after I blow dry or should I only? So with a perm rod, it's too, it's too small for that. So the only ones that you're going to use on dry hair is like a flexi rod. But a perm rod, you need to use that on wet hair. Those ends. Yep, that happened to my daughter. I was shook to the core. That's what I'm saying. Like, and like, don't don't feel bad about it. It happens to everybody. But I mean, it could happen to anybody, but just we can't keep making a mistake. Can we do twist outs by setting a twist with foam and getting it under the dryer to completely dry, or is that still a lot of manipulation? You still about to manipulate it the same. It's not a style. When you okay, I'm gonna say this and you answer the question for yourself. If you do a roller set, and after you take the rollers out, what do you have to do? You just run your hair, your a comb through your hair, and wrap it up and go ahead on about your business. What do you have to do after you dry your flat twist under the dryer? What do you have to do after that? What you have to do when you get done answers the question of whether or not it's the same thing or whether or not it is a low manipulation style. So you you let me know. I'm sorry, but wash and goes look unkept. Flexi rod sets, perm rod sets look so much better and they're healthier for the hair. Thank you. I'm sorry, but when you do a wash and go, you look like you did a wash and go. It looks like what you did. When I look at somebody who did a wash and go or a twist out, I, it looks like you did a wash and go or a twist out. If you're just doing it because you like the natural way that your hair looks curly, just give yourself a flexi rod set or a roller set or a perm rod set that matches your natural curls. I don't understand because first of all, when y'all do y'all wash and goes, by the time y'all get to the end of the day, y'all hair don't look good no more. That's why y'all kind of keep getting water bottles because the bond is never set. But if you do a, a roller set or a flexi rod set that matches your natural curl pattern, then you'll never have to worry about that. The bonds will always be set. It's not a big deal. And then when you, obviously, if you do a roller set or a flexi rod set, you're not combing through your hair every single day, but your hair is already stretched enough to where when it's time for you to wash your hair, all you got to do is add a little bit of like hemp seed oil or something to your ends and then start combing through to detangle your hair before you wash it and it's over. It's so much more work the way that y'all do it. So are these people getting regular trims on top of wash and goes? You know they're not getting trims. And if they do get trims, they search and destroy, meaning they just like, ooh, here's one of the 100,000 to 500,000 curls. It's like, think of how stupid that is. Think of how dumb it is to search and destroy. Don't get mad. You have, the average person has 100,000 follicles on their scalp. Every follicle has one to four strands, right? 
So in having a follicle that has one to four strands and you have 100,000 follicles, that means that the average person has 100,000 to 400,000 strands of hair on their head. So do you know, think about how dumb you look to the Lord sitting there like, let me get my hair even. I'm a search through all 100,000 and 500,000 strands with my eyes. And I'm going to cut them one at a time. Yeah, that's going to be good for my hair. Yeah. Search and destroy. Any one of the 500,000, 400,000, 100,000, that'll make it even. That is, if that ain't some of the, like, and can I, don't say I'm hurting your feelings. I'm just repeating out loud what y'all been doing, but I'm not saying it in the sweet, nice, team natural way. Search and destroy the fucking method. They make all of these names up so y'all don't feel stupid. It's still stupid. Search and destroy. Search through 100,000 to 400,000 strands one piece at a time. That's dumb. That's like looking through a sandbox picking out one piece of sand at a time. Like, ooh, you're aggressive. No, I'm tired of my sisters looking dumb. Yes, I've been using oils, but in the lock method. I forgot your question, but whatever your issue is, that's your problem. The lock method and oils. Uh, I wanted to try the glory hole too. Ooh, and just think about, think about how brainwashed y'all are. I said that yesterday and I'm not being rude. I just really want you to think about it. So the next time that y'all see something pop up, you're going to be like, don't try to get me sucker. I ain't no dummy no more. Y'all win years. Like, okay, for example, the majority of the people who are scared of blow dryers are still gonna go and get the Rev Air blow dryer. Because y'all trust, you trust a machine sticking your hair in a damn hole. You trust that more than blow drying your hair with a brush. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. It's a glory hole. Y'all know what a glory hole is in the movies where they would the freakies would go up and they just stick their thing in the hole. That is what y'all are doing. Y'all are doing the same thing. Don't talk about old men. Y'all like, okay, so I'm going to dry my hair. Now, I don't, I only blow dry my hair once a month. And I don't use sulfate free. I, I only use sulfate free shampoo because sulfates are bad and they're so bad. And I never flat iron my hair because flat irons are bad. They're so bad. But it's $500 glory hole. And I can't see what the fuck is in there. I don't know who the fuck is in here. I can't see shit. But this girl said she, she put her hair in there. And then when she put her hair in there and I put it out, it was so cool. So like, look, be shit in there. <gasps> That's what y'all do. And then all these you know, years go by, it's gonna be like attention, glory hole users. If you use the blow dryer or the glory hole, you may be compensated for thirty five thousand dollars. And then y'all all gonna go online and be like, the new scam of the week. They scammed us. Nobody scammed you. Everybody was dumb going out and buying a glory hole blow dryer after they spent over a decade telling you the blow dryers were bad. But, you know, what do I know? I just... I had no idea what I was doing wrong because I've been listening to people that were not properly educated or curly hair. Yeah, stop listening to people. Like y'all not gonna you not gonna go in the in the restaurant and listen to nobody about like if you pregnant, like, oh, you want me to deliver? Because I be delivering babies all the time. I know your doctor good, but I be delivering babies all the time. You wanna see? Look at my baby. See, my baby here, I can deliver them. That's what y'all do. You want me to do your look, I do my hair all the time. See? You wanna see my look, see? That's what y'all do. So 
I no longer live in a big city. Finding a stylist is a buzz. What do you recommend since I'm stuck doing my own hair? Scared is damaged now. Um, I would just need to know more about your hair, like your porosity, your sebum level, what are like your everyday patterns and routines because hair is not a one size fits all. I would just need to know more about you to answer that question. So what if you live in an extremely dry area and have low porosity here? What do you re recommend for a keep a styler? What does you living in a dry area have to do with you styling your hair? Your hair receives moisture from the environment, but you're not really outside. And as long as you have the right products on your hair and your scalp is clean, it's going to travel from the scalp to the ends. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I live in the desert. There's When I go outside in the summertime, there's tumbleweed. I live in the desert. Your porosity has nothing to do with the styles that you pick for your hair. Like, it's the same thing for everybody's porosity. Like, depending on what style you got, how you style your hair, like, how is your hair styled? How is your hair styled? I need to know how your hair is styled for me to tell you how to keep it up. Can you air dry? Hold on. Uh, please remind to the other stuff and go watch some of my old videos. Just type in air dry send out and I'll tell you. My aunt was in her styles for 40 years and it's literally in my DNA. I'll see women look at me. <laughs> yep. You can't help it. Oh my gosh, Sam. I'm starting to see the cycle. They're trying to keep us in the money rolling in for them. Yeah, and we're going to let it happen. It's like, and the thing is, I'll get y'all out of a mind frame. And then y'all be like, but what about them? They do it. But what about them? They do it. It's, it's, it's crazy. I'm about to get off in a minute because my high is all the way home. Wash, please pick up a brush or a gray silver light. Or get a roller set. I know it's just my hair, but I believe God sent me to your page tonight for a reason. Because when I tell you I was fed up and about to do something extreme. No, please promise me you won't chop it off. Promise. I want you to think about something. Because if you if you were thinking about cutting it off, you've probably done that before. So I want you to add a, right? Just try to think in your mind. All of the different times that you've cut your hair, right? And like try to add it up. Like if you cut 10 inches one time, nine inches another time, that's 19 inches of hair right there. If, you, if you've done a big chop more than once and you've cut 10 inches every time, you can do math. So your hair grows, it's just the length retention. So no, don't do that. I am begging you not to do that. If you was in front of me, I would be like, you ain't cutting shit. And I would take your scissors. If you was my friend and I was at your house, I would go in your room and I would pull all your drawers on me. I would take all your scissors. I would even take your whole kitchen scissors because I wouldn't trust you and I would take them. And then I would give you a trim and we would just get rid of the hair that was messing with you. And then I would ask you a bunch of questions like, what are your patterns? What are your everyday patterns? What do you like to do? Because the silk press ain't good for everybody. Some people may just want to do a blowout. Or some clippings. Or we're not even just clippings. You may just want to do a blowout. Or, you know, you, you have options. But just depending on what your lifestyle is like and what you're doing, then that's what's going to determine how you style your hair but just think of the style with at least the amount of tension because the thing is you want to minimize tension and you want to minimize manipulation so think of a style that minimizes tension and manipulation and you could okay if you can't find the stylist i got a little hack that you could do so let me know but don't cut nothing my Tyler is three. She said I start blow drying her hair after baths. So just wait. The how long is her hair? Cause she she three. So her hair just start being hair. Okay, it just start being hair. The net the the human the human hair growth cycle isn't complete until age seven. 
So it's not until age seven that your child is going to have a full hair growth cycle because the natural hair growth cycle, the human hair growth cycle takes about six to seven years. So your daughter has not had a full hair growth cycle yet. Like she's still in her initial like analogy phase of the hair growth cycle where her hair is like just now growing, just now producing new hair growth cells. So you want to do the least amount to her hair, right? Right now, if her hair is not long enough to get tangled, you don't need to blow dry it. You'll know when it's time to blow dry your daughter's hair when it gets tangled all the time. If her hair is always tangled, that means it's time for you to blow dry it and like braid it and put it in certain styles. But other than that, you're going to be good. All right. But keep it real simple with your baby. Congratulations, Angela. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I love you guys. Wash your hair more. Yes. Yes. Baby, I'm done detangling already. I started blow drying. Listen. Girl, I don't got time for the bullshit. They put out all this information that blow dryer damages curl pattern and it's hard to know what to believe. So much misinformation going around. But this is the thing. When you know beautiful, listen to me beautiful. When you know the science of hair, it doesn't matter what nobody puts out. You're not going to be manipulated. For example, it doesn't matter what nobody says. If you on the airplane and somebody be like, get up, let's jump out of the plane. Gravity's not real. We can swim. We can fly. You're going to be like, bullshit. Bullshit. Because you know for a fact that gravity is a thing. And you know you're going to go splickety splat when you hit the floor. So nobody can manipulate you on things that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know about. That's what I'm saying. That's why I want y'all to understand the science of hair. Blow dryers are not bad. And the thing is, nobody can, from now on, anytime somebody tells you blow dryers are bad, get them to explain to you why the people who blow dry their hair all the time don't have damage hair. And then get people to explain to you why blow dryers are bad. What does the blow dryer do to the bonds of the hair? And if blow dryers are so bad, why have licensed cosmetologists been using blow dryers for years without damaging their client's hair? Like, do you realize cosmetologists would not have jobs if blow dryers damaged hair? A blow dryer is my favorite tool in the salon, but it is the tool that y'all are the most afraid of. It is insanity. I love my blow dryer more than I love my flat arm. I can do a silk press without a flat arm, but I can't do one without a blow dryer. I can go, I can, I feel more comfortable finishing my client with a silk press with just a blow dryer than I do with just a flat arm. I can take super small sections with a blow dryer and round brush and it'll come out silky smooth, but the flat arm is going to give me the heat damage. A blow dryer don't give you heat damage? What is wrong? Like, stop. Y'all have to take control over your mind. Nobody's going to be able to do it. There is nothing that I can say that is going to convince y'all that y'all are brainwashed. You are going to have to go learn the information for yourself. You're going to have to stop believing it. There's nothing that I can say. There's nothing that I can say. Why are you so funny? I'm not trying to be funny. My soul hurts. I look at the male professional athlete with long hair and thought the same thing. Why is their hair so long and healthy? Because they're not playing in their damn hair. That's why men don't give a... Men do their hair like you're supposed to do it. You want to see how you're supposed to treat your hair? If you a woman who has a husband who got long hair, do your hair like he do his. Which is doing nothing to it. Those, you think those, ba those basketball players, they... <laughs> that's to do. Do you think those basketball players is doing wash and goes and, and hanging upside down with their head drying so they can get blood circulation? No, they are not. Do you think those basketball players are at home in between their games, greasing their scalp? No, they are not. They have a girl come about once every couple of weeks, probably once a week or once every two weeks, and she take down those braids she detangle it 
Then she shampoo it, blow dry it, put the braids right back in, and then he don't touch his head again until she see him. And then boys got hair down their back, and y'all hair been the same length for five, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen 13 years. Y'all hair been the same length since you was two years old. Do you have a roller set video? No, but it's a whole bunch of roller set videos online. I, I'm just giving y'all more options. I'm content with the way that my patterns and routines are. I, roller sets are... Roller sets are great, but just a roller set is a roller set. Just literally go on YouTube and type in roller set and just it's so simple. I'm not trying to be funny and shit. It's irritating. Like, I'm shit. Like, nigga. Who? Bumblebee? Like, that's what I feel like. Nipple chip. Can we just blue bit? Yes, Get off the fucking blue dress. This I am smart, but this isn't this isn't my intellect. This isn't this don't need smartness. This don't need smartness. This don't need smartness. This don't need smartness. See, sp smartness not a word. <laughs> what did who do? Oh, we say you did that. I just need some help with my little karate here in Colorado. Tell me what to do. What do you want to do with it? I don't know what you want to do with it. That's like me going and walking into somewhere and being like, I'm Nikki, tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't know. What you want me to cover? You want me to cover your nips? What you want? Like, what you want? You want some shorts? Where you, where you going? You trying to be cute? You trying to go to the buffet? What you trying to do? You, you going... You going on the dummy mission? You you going for a little sneaky link? Like what you doing? I need to know where you're going. Come on, not Chuck. Never thought of it like that. People had me believe in trendy new. Yeah, but it's it's good though. Just know when you being played. Just think about it. Just really, really think about it. I really like learning how to get gel nails and skills and start doing nails all. Yes. Oh my God. Like, listen, that's why I'm a licensed cosmetologist. As a licensed cosmetologist, you could do everything. I'm talking to her. Girl, I don't got time to be sitting there with that acrylic and learning that. I don't know. I don't want to. Too much. Pick one. I'm going to get down the comments and then we go. We gonna head out. We've been in here three hours. I never did a roller set on my thick natural hair, only when I had a relaxer, but I'm willing to try and learn. Yeah, do do it. Try it. Or like if you if you um too nervous or you don't know how to do the roller set, try a flexi rod set. Because a flexi rods are a little easier to do. It is no, it is not. No. Apple cider vinegar is acid. You can use apple cider vinegar to clean your toilet. Why would you put it in your hair? That's why girls are going bald. Because y'all using the stuff that you can use to unclog your sink in your hair. It's touching up a blow dryer or bag. Mm -hmm. Nope. Just, um, that's when you would use a serum. You can use, you can use a serum or, oh, what's right here? This is a really good product. Olaplex has a volumizing mist, and what you can do, um, this is one that if I do want to refresh it, with just a blowout, you can like spray it on the root, and then uh, blow out, and you be good. We love you in Chicago. I love y'all too. Like, I just.
I just wish everybody that I, that I talk to in the world could be like people from New York. My, I'm sorry if you're from other places. I love you too. But my favorite people are from Chicago, New York, Detroit already. What up though? That's where I'm from. And Ohio. Because y'all just, y'all speak my language and I don't have to miss my words. Like I'm soft as it when compared to some of y'all. It's just easy. Ugh. Are all forms the same in real sense? It just depends on like what your patterns are with it. Like a, a lot of times they just be using too much stuff. I don't use anything on roller sets except for phone. This is my favorite phone from the Max Stylist. I'm out. This is my last. I got to order some more when we get off of here. This is my last. But this is the only phone that I use. So if I'm going to do a roller set, it's only going to be with this. So if I do a roller set, I'm going to spray it with this leave-in conditioner. And I'm going to put this phone on every roller. And that's it. I'm not doing nothing else. Everyone here can help stop wash and go cycles and get their beautiful hair back longer because it's going to take all of us to pass on the knowledge we know now. Please, can we, like, just imagine, just imagine, and actually, let's try Because every time something goes viral, there's a product for it. So, bad money. Watch, if everybody starts focusing more on blowout, or or just stretching their hair watch the market get flooded with new foam wraps and blowout sprays and leave-in conditioners mock my words what's today 12 29 2023 watch watch it happen watch it happen Don't trickle wheel wheel. Oh, they changed the picture. Oh, let's see. I'm just saying, bro. I don't know. I don't know what people be saying to piss you off, but I'm here for it because I love people who want to. It's just, I just, I just, it's just, I don't know. You got a friend in me. I'm just trying. It's, you got a friend in me. I'm just trying. Just remember what your friend said. Yes, Angela. Me and Angela had such a good talk on our consult. Ooh, and she from Chicago. I just love my Chicago people. Like, I just, oh my God. Y'all, y'all ghetto. Not all y'all. Cause I know it's just like Detroit where it's the suburbs too and then the hood. So I know you ain't in, but ooh, y'all streets be streeting. But so do they, they do in Detroit too. So I'm not being rude, but y'all speak my language. Y'all speak my language. And I think the reason that like I, I lay back on YouTube most of the time is because people be like, why are you so rough? And it's just like, I don't know how to be any different than this. So I'm gonna just not make videos because. But my listen, my block game been so strong today. I made up a block song. Let me know if y'all want to hear it. The only real one on YouTube. It's a couple real ones. It's it's I can't, I can hold them in my hand. I can hold them in my hand without nobody dripping off the sides, but it's a couple. Yeah. You're welcome. And I love my admins and my, my moderators, y'all on y'all shit today. I'm giving y'all something. Man, I'm about to be a roller queen. Like I, when I take this out, I'm going to do a, I promise the first thing I'm going to do is a roller set.
I got to share the love and the knowledge. But whatever you do, don't share the love and the knowledge with no argumentative team natural person because I have a block song and I'm blocking everybody. I'm not arguing with people no more. My hair is to my butt crack and I do all of the blood, but I only use leave-in herbal spray with Mitzvah Gel. I try your technique because going for Thailand. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing. What's awkward length to you? Because if it's an awkward length, it doesn't need to be styled. All hair doesn't need to be styled. And I know that's hard for people to receive, but my hair was at an awkward length at one point. And it just that's like roller set styles you could do flexi rides but you can get do like shorter ones or if you just don't like the way that your hair looks short you can do clip-ins or extensions or a partial or there's so many different things that you can do let's go let's get to the good stuff See, we gonna get to it soon but we got to get people out of this first because I can't go. We can't do anything. If we if we can't stop talking about washing our hair, we don't like we we got to get past base level stuff, too. I'm from New York, but I have been living in Houston, Texas for eight years. This heat out here. Listen. Don't give up. What I want you to do, just start binge watching a lot of my videos. And the more that you understand about your body, the more you can maneuver around stuff. But when you don't know yourself, when you don't know yourself, everything around you is going to be confusing because you don't know yourself. You don't know who you are. You don't know what makes your scalp tick. You don't know your porosity. You don't know nothing. If you don't know what makes your body tick, then it's going to forever be like that. That's why I'm always telling people sign up for my seven day challenge, because in the seven day challenge, I make it plain. Like everything that I've been saying today, I break the seven. The seven day challenge is actionable steps, like a new pattern and a new routine made for you. You have to follow it. You can't bring any of the team natural stuff with you. You have to have accountability and you got to be ready to follow everything. But. It could get done. You could check my reviews. Damn, I've been bamboozled, been doing everything wrong. It's okay. Listen, when I say I've been making videos, like when I say I've been making videos about this forever, that is what I mean. Like you can literally just go sit on the toilet and watch all of my videos, everything, moisture, retention, uh, um, ab apple cider vinegar, coconut oil, everything that y'all could possibly think of that y'all do in Team Natural, I've said not to do it and gave y'all a replacement for it. And it's on my channel already. You just got to go look for it. About oils, you have to be careful because it's very concentrated. You really only need a little and you only need it for your ends. You only need oil for your ends. It takes six hours to get it done. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to be doing nothing to your hair that long. My hair can never do the wash and goes. Yeah. Not search and destroy. Y'all be doing search and destroy. And the thing that be getting me, when y'all do stuff like search and destroy, y'all be like, wait, me? Like Mana said, people was putting yeast infection cream in their hair. Saying it make your hair grow. And now today, don't nobody remember coochie cream. That was you searching and destroying. Don't be doing that shit no more. I'm it. One out of all 400,000. It don't hurt my feelings, but you made me realize that it's insanity. And that's all today was for. That's all today was for. I want you to think. I'm not telling you nothing you don't already know. But you've let the things from the outside world like cloud your mind and cloud your judgment so much that you can't see the forest for the trees. And I'm not going to sit around idly while you guys all self-destruct. I'm not going to do it. And if that means that some of y'all don't like me right now, I don't give a shit because I don't know y'all no way. But I bet you about 10 years from now, y'all be like, damn, CN did try to tell me, damn, I love you, CN. Okay. That's cool. I'll take it. 
Thank you. Girl, I broke one because of Shalissa. She's scared. I'm not playing. She scared that out of me. I forgot that was right there. I thought somebody was behind me though. Girl, okay. Dang, I missed the beginning where she'll take on Flexi Rides and Rollers. I think that's what y'all should use to replace Flexi Rides. I mean, wash and goes. But this ain't going nowhere. Start from beginning. Uh, starting fresh in a few days for my birthday. Just had a baby. Mm -hmm. Just had a baby. Congratulations. She is. And each time I have one, postpartum sets me back. Mm -hmm. The seven day challenge helped, but I got to start back. And listen, it's okay. You just made a human. My love, you just made a person, goddess, and everything that that person needed to live, you got. Not to mention, it's something called telogen effluvium. If your baby is any younger than three months, every um, normally telogen effluvium takes about three months after the stressful experience to show up where like shedding and stuff happens or your hair looks thinner. But just give it another three months of you eating good and everything good and it'll be right back. You just made a human. It's normal. $500 glory hole. That's what y'all doing. Walk around sticking y'all here in a hole. This is better than a blow dry. My hair is bob and I'm transitioning and I don't know how to take care of it. I don't know a way other than to do a wig on top. When you say transitioning, what do you mean? Like, baby, just blow dry it and straighten it and leave it alone. And you can straighten it on low heat. And then on the day that you want to put a wig on it, put a wig on it. It's not complicated. Don't overcomplicate it. The reason that it's so hard for y'all to keep up with stuff is because y'all think everything needs a riddle. Everything don't need a riddle. And then let's say you don't want to wear your hair in a bob. Babe, go get some clip-ins. Put the clip-ins in and then let it go. Like, it's, it doesn't have to be complicated. Don't make it overly complicated. Seeing you have more patience than you give yourself credit for. Thank you for your comment. My I have a headache. My eyeballs hurt. That's why I keep taking my glasses on and off. Because every time y'all ask me about stuff, my eyes be wanting to go cross. And, like, I don't. I hate it so much. And I hate two stops. And I just love y'all. And that's the only reason that I'm even here still. <laughs> I honestly believe I don't have to spend hours doing my hair or walking around. Yes, please stop looking like grease monsters. Saying save my hair. I'm so grateful. I love you guys so much. Please keep it simple. Saying thanks for replying to my question. I see you do paid consultations. Hopefully you'll be able to guide me to virtually video call because I need one. Glad I found your video. Okay, I'm going to read these last comments, and then I'm going to show y'all how to uh, work my website to book me, and then I'm going to go. Girl, I already been chopped. My hair was so damaged from the chemical mechanical damage. Look, I was about to be, I was, <laughs> why are you doing it? But okay, we're going to start over, and I'm going to have videos coming all next week, so give me patience. Tomorrow's my daughter's birthday, and I got to go cash her out. So nothing's coming tomorrow, but I got you. Lord, it's never too late. Detox and start over. Your hair is not like your ovaries. When one falls out, you have one waiting in the cut. You get more. Stop. No, everybody right now in the comments, no big chop. No big chop. Right now. No big chop. Shit. That's why y'all buying hair products all the time because every five minutes y'all shopping all your hair off and y'all want to buy a product to help it grow back. I will take my blow dryer out from the back of the closet. Yes, it is not the devil. If you got to pull some sage out and pray before you do it to make yourself feel better, then do that. But it is not the devil. Your blow dryer is not possessed. If anything is the devil in your house, it's the damn, it's your damn wallet. And that card that you keep swiping and shit, buying hair products. That's what the devil is. The blow dry ain't did nothing to nobody. Okay, I usually keep my hair braided coral with added hair. Or in a fro, sometimes I'll do flat twists but without blow dryer. So how would you recommend keeping the rest of the hair or work out to? I'm going to have a video or rewind it because I feel like I already answered that question. If I do a flexi rod set on blown out hair, do I need to spray it? 
whisper to make it last longer and make a change. No, leave it alone. Just leave it alone. You don't need to spray nothing. Once the bond is set, leave it alone. Y'all want to spray, don't spray nothing. Set the bond, leave it alone, walk away. I'm telling y'all, crackhead stuff. Mm -mm. If your ears are moisturized, it's because your sebum, your sebum is not getting from the follicle down to the end. So make sure you call me or her more. I'm so fed up with my hair. It brings me to tears. I need help. Okay, book a consultation, baby. I got you. Is there a certain blow dryer you need? Mm -hmm. Just get a blow dryer. That's team natural stuff. Just get a blow dryer. Blow dryer. Blow dryer and flat iron only with heat protector. Okay. If I'm starting a straight journey with doing a silk press weekly, be too much. Yes. Every like three weeks, especially if you're doing this yourself, you don't know what you're doing. You're going to give yourself heat damage. Blow dryer and flat iron only with heat protected. Nothing wrong with blow dryer here. Yep. Yes, but I don't know how to do it. I don't have any techniques to work on my hair. My hair does not say stretch after a blow dryer, flat iron, and it's too short for other stuff. Yeah, you're gonna have to book a consult saying I don't know. I can't. I can't. I can't. I love you. <laughs> Breathe easy. So we're about to go, but this this beauty right here. She's a grown woman now. Like super grown, like super duper grown. Free, are you 30 yet? No, you're not 30 yet. Almost. Not quite. No, you're not. Anyway, she grown. She can buy liquor. She got her own place. But I remember when I first met her, she was like 11 or 12. Or like 12 or 13. And now you're a grown woman. And I love her so much. And I'm about to cry. So I'm so grateful for recently coming across your channel. And I'm even more grateful for you coming across it too, because we're not about to keep being bald headed skittle diddles. And even if you're not a bald headed skittle diddle now, you're going to make yourself a bald headed skittle diddle if you keep putting all that hair products in the middle. Okay, Sam is the saying, don't twist or braid your hair. She is saying, blow dry, set your bond first, then braid it. And then see how long you're keeping. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Wouldn't wonder if minds like to know. Hey, Sam, can you answer the super chat? I did, didn't I? Sam, question please. What is the difference between the way a regular stylist do a blow dryer and the way the Dominicans do it? <sighs> Not at all. Got a lot of breakage from the Dominican salons. They're rougher. Just, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a Dominican hairstylist. I don't know what they do. I have no idea, babe. Getting your perm rods out. Yes, go get them. I don't see a super chart. Yeah, I'll watch all your videos. I love you. I appreciate you. I don't have enough hair to stay. If you don't have enough hair to do anything with, leave it alone. Y'all, that's what I mean. When, when men have short hair, they don't touch their hair. They just leave it alone. They just wash it and then leave it alone. They'll put no products in it. Wash it, put leave-in conditioner in it, dry your hair under the dryer, and leave it alone until it's long enough for you to do something to. If you can't do anything with it, why are you asking me what to tell you to do with it? I am not a wizard. If you can't twist it, it can't be twisted it. Okay? It's main mint foam. I'm going to leave the links for everything when we leave out. My auntie was a beautician. I only saw old school dryers in her house when she used to do the one. Yep. So we have to do what until it grows. If you want more detailed information, I love y'all so much. Sign up for my seven-day challenge. I have broken everything down in actionable steps. If you need actionable steps, sign up for my seven-day challenge and you got it. It's plenty of seven-day challenge members in here. They don't have to ask none of the questions that y'all ask them because everything is over there. It's $100 to start. If you don't have the $100 right up front, you can finance it through Sizzle and you can get it for $20. You can start it for $20. But if you need step-by-step -step direction, you either need to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me or sign up for the seven-day challenge. I cannot answer all those questions here. No, I do not work in a hair salon no more. I am for retired. I have given, what, 17 years of my life to the hair salon. I am done. I have a one year old with really thick hair past her shoulder, always get tangled to. Yes, your, is, your child is one year old. Leave them alone. Is the consult in person? No, it's a virtual consultation. 
It's a lot of body. I love a lot of body. It's one of my favorites. Shot Town South Side. <laughs> yes, I love a lot of body. Damn, I'm late. You are boo. I'm about to go. Okay, I'm sick of these V part with. Yeah, girl, listen. Even when my hair is, what's crazy? Most of us are like, oh, weaves are bad. The majority of women, all different races, wear wigs, U V parts, U parts. When I used to do hair, most of the white girls that worked with me used to get their weaves for me. Like, yes, you need a scrub. That's what I mean. Look, seven day challenge changed my life. If you guys need help, join the seven day challenge. If you want me to give you a detailed breakdown, I love y'all, but I am not doing that here. I already put everything in actionable steps for you. You can take the seven day challenge and it'll do it for you. I love y'all, but I can't. They're going to be like, what the hell did I do it for? Saying if you just going to tell everybody on live. All right. Okay. Okay. I am going to um show you guys how to um book me and all of that stuff. And then we're going to head on a ball for here because it is almost 10 o'clock. It's almost 10, guys. What the freak? Oh. Take a picture, remember, day they love. Mm -hmm. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So. To get to these links, you guys can go to um any video because I'm gonna I have to add it. Seriously, I have to um hold on for a second, child. I have to add it to my um add it to the description box because I wasn't able to do it when we first got on here for whatever reason. Well, not I wasn't able to do it. I didn't do it when we first got on here. But um, I am going to show you guys this. Oh, it's just being stupid. Okay. Sorry, guys. Give me one minute. Okay. Who let these holes in my room? Oh, sorry. I don't know why I always, like, when, when my mind is, like, so, by the way, your girl has a monetized website, so feel free to shop on my website as well. Um, so, here is the website. I'm just making sure. Hold on. I got to get this banner off the bottom. But that's the website scrolling at the bottom, www.sandsmith.guru. Actually, I'm not going to take it off. I'm going to just leave it on there. Okay, so if you want to take the seven-day challenge, as soon as you get over here, you just click on this button right here. And hold on, let me make sure it's going over. Yep. Okay, so you just click on this button right here, and then it explains the seven-day challenge to you. You can sit here. You can watch a little video. Hello, I'm Sindal, and welcome inside the seven-day hair growth challenge. So there is a six minute, almost seven minute video there breaking down everything that it is, breaking out everything that it entails. And then you can also see um, like other tutorials and testimonials from people who have taken the seven day challenge and got results and things of that nature, like a bunch of before and afters and stuff like that. So here, right over there, and that is how you get to the seven day challenge but then if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me i love y'all so much and i don't i hope that don't nobody take this the wrong way but the only thing that i do for free is youtube that's the only thing that i do for free so we've been on here for for almost four hours like i give a lot for free but 
I don't do consults for free. So you would just click on the books in tab, right? And then once you click on the books in tab, it explains to you how my consultations go. I do hair and scalp consultations and business consultations, and it's $150 an hour. So the way that it would happen, you would click this button to request a date. Right. So the dates that pop up are not necessarily the days that I have available, but you just go ahead to request a date and then I'll get uh, the request to my phone like an email. And then once I see it, then I'll confirm the date. And once the date is confirmed, then I'll send you over an invoice. Once the invoice is paid, the um, appointment is confirmed. And then you get the video link sent out with our date. And then once the day pops up, me and you see each other and we have our virtual console. And you can see my face. It's not going to be in person, face to face, but you will see my face and I'll see yours um, via consultation. And we talk for an hour and get through everything. I'll give you a, a new routine, whatever you need. Okay. And then if you want to shop my teas and things of that nature, here is the apothecary. I have quite a few things in there. We're going to be hopping back into my teas and things like that later, but I just wanted y'all to understand the core of everything because as I'm selling herbs and stuff, I don't want y'all to be like, oh, I drunk this. How long does it take to work? But then you still doing all your team natural stuff. It don't work like that. So yeah, um, I sell herbal teas, we have mugs, extracts and tinctures, soaps, different body things that you could do with smudge bar, There's so many different things over here. So that is what my website is looking like. Those are the things that I have to offer. So y'all just let me know if y'all have any questions about anything. I will leave everything in the description box below. We've been in this bad boy. My link and I could have made it to this. Oh, why is it? Me? There we go. There we go. All right, so there we go. Thank you, but I just love you. So I'm going to also leave this pinned as well. <laughs> you fell asleep. <laughs> But we're about to go. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for chilling with me today. I really hope that this answered your questions a little bit. Um, well, I'm on StreamYard, so I can't do it from here. Hold on, let me try to do it inside of this. Hold on, sexy. Could StreamYard be a little different? There we go. Bam chicka wheel wheel. Did that do it for y'all for y'all eyes? Cause I don't see what y'all see. So that should have said it. See? Thank you. I love kitty cake. The seven day challenge was a game changer for me. See, you guys sign up. Like I said, oh, and uh, just so you don't get confused, when it comes to financing through Sizzle, like add the seven day challenge to your cart and follow, click all of the promptings and go through. Um, and once you get to the part where you add your payment information, but you have to get to that part, don't put your credit card information in but scroll down to right under that and look for the button that says sizzle and then click on that follow the promptings and then boom shikala boom all right but i love y'all so much thank you for chilling with me tonight and i will see y'all probably on like well y'all gonna see me i ain't gonna see y'all the next video i do will probably be on like sunday sunday or monday because tomorrow is billa's birthday and we got it Gotta spend all my money. So go buy some shit. Join the seven day challenge so I can. Mm -hmm. But love you guys. Good night.